Tonight on Eight and a Half Bit, we go for a hike, go for a stroll, and climb a mountain. Welcome, friends of all designs, to episode 268 of Eight and a Half Bit. I'm your host, Paul, and joining me today are my good friends, Amy. Hi. And James. Hello. Is that your new intro, outro, Amy? Yes. Okay. I've swapped them around yeah. now. <laughs> you got so much louder since we did the, te- the set the volume, but that's oh. all right. Oh, well. you, got, you got so excited. Yes. To say no. Yes. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, she, <laughs> she keeps getting louder again. <laughs> I told her that her outro should just be yelling, I'm not available. <laughs> Is that the smart one on the internet? I don't know. <laughs> um, thanks for watching. I'm, I'm not in the middle. middle. <laughs> anyway, great. Okay. Uh, I'm in the middle this time. You are in the this middle. Is, I, I like it. it. Picking in the middle. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Hmm. You get to feel like, move your head around a bit? Yeah, I feel like there's more pressure on not screwing up the mic because i got to kind of and look you're, back and forth. you're in touching range from of Paul. Yeah, there's no meat buffer. <laughs> oh, you're the meat buffer. <laughs> is oh, yeah. Sam really a meat buffer? Well, he's yeah, you know, he's made of meat. It's more bo- to- skin and bone buffer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, more of a skin sack buffer. And I realised oh, we didn't actually close the door. The dogs are not home at the moment, but they will come back during the show, <gasps> and they will kick that door open. I and they will burst in. Here. I don't understand the problem. Uh, sounds good. Okay, um, so the sh- games uh, referred to in the intro are, of course, uh, uh, Pocket Monsters UK. <laughs> uh, just, just Pokemon, right. Pocket Monsters. Okay. Yeah. Dark Forces, Jedi Knight, Five, <laughs> Jedi Fallen Order. <laughs> I, I don't think it's the same series. No, so like, no. No, uh, so Jedi Fallen Order. And Death Stranding, the mm. best worst game you'll ever play. <laughs> we'll get into that a bit Yo, later. will we? So, Amy, it's been about eight months since you've been on the show. Have yeah, you, wow. What have you been doing? Uh, playing gacha games and sitting around. What, uh, what gacha game are you playing? Mostly Fate Grand Order. Fate. Do you yeah. need to understand the anime to enjoy it? Um, well, where to begin with the animes? Uh, I think it's, it's a visual novel and then there's the animes and you don't know where to start other than mm, the visual novel. This sounds complicated. But, yes, it is. But, um, no, not really. You enjoying your gatchering? I am. You're I, getting um, your S rank? I'm getting all my gold star your ones. Your gold star ones? Yeah. Are you reading wikis and figuring things not out? really. You it's just... pretty straightforward. I don't have to worry too much about it. I like it. I'm getting yeah. all, the, all the gold ones are good. Because I've been trying to find a gacha game yep. to play, but the yeah. problem I have is that they rely heavily on giving a shit about the thing you're collecting. Ah, okay. And there's very few things <laughs> that actually appeal to me that are also in a gacha game. Okay, yeah. So as soon as it's like like classic DOS game gacha, yep, okay. then I'm there. Like, I'm yep. good. Okay. But I'm less interested in, like, fate, whatever. Lori, Lori Even, like, so far, the closest one I've found is mm-hmm. probably the Final Fantasy. Okay. Uh, Disson? No, no. What's Dis- it called? Uh, Dis- yeah, 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 whatever. Dis- yeah. Because yeah. at least like I, I recognize the character. Yep, so I was yep. like, oh, I can have myself a cloud and a squall. Like, I can have those things. Yeah, but you don't. You, do you want to care about that? The problem is I don't really care. Yeah. That's no, okay. Uh, but yeah. if I could have my level five Roger Wilco, mm-hmm. then I'm a happy mm, man. I'm not sure if it's. He's in a gacha game. I don't think. You, I don't think <laughs> Paul, would you would you care about level five Roger Wilco Paul? No. <laughs> we could make one. But I I play my gacha game, which is Steam. <laughs> <laughs> I've got them all. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> it's because do you go to Bundle Stars and just get the random games? Because that is you could be playing Steam Gacha. I do not, James. You don't do that. Because Bundle Stars changed its name to Fanatic. <laughs> like fucking oh, I'm sorry. eight months ago, yeah. you idiot. <laughs> I don't keep up with Steam Gacha. If we were to switch to the browser on my computer at the moment, yeah. it would have a bundle from Fanatic over now that I am perusing. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good. <laughs> Why not? What's and in it? What's in it? Uh, a whole lot of games I haven't heard of but look mm. interesting. So Ooh. those might appear in future episodes. Mm. Or in next year's uh, um, trash games. Yeah, I've started thing. collecting games for that now. When they when they pop up, I, I set them aside. That sounds good. That's a fun panel. Yeah, trash is a fun panel. Mm. We'll probably continue that. If I keep doing packs, I mean, maybe I'll be dead. Maybe. Yeah. Could happen. Here's hoping. I shall, I shall <laughs> keep on your legacy. 
somehow. <laughs> I don't know. So I do imagine now that the, that after I die, Amy suddenly steps says, I'm going to start hosting PAX panels. I'm, yeah. not, <laughs> I'm not one to really... I don't like a lot of attention. And, no, yeah. no. And I honestly don't really care about video games most of the time but, these days. But <laughs> the torch must be carried. Yeah, yes. some, someone has someone, to do it. Someone must shoulder that burden. Yep. I'll learn how to make the, the plaited beard thing <laughs> so I can be like that. Mm, that'll be good. Mm. That'll be good. And you have to take on all my other traits as well, so oh, I'm very no. sorry. You know how you were talking before about trying to decide what to do with your hair? Yes. Has anyone ever like done a forward braid... Into some kind of mustache. No. Yeah, I've seen it. I, I don't, Is that? I've seen it done. Yeah, I've seen it done, but I've just not got anyone who's good enough with hair to do something like that. Do you, are you good with hair? God no, but but please do it. Okay, you, I'll it, I'll look into it. It's okay for like a costume. I've never seen anyone do it not in that context. <laughs> no, I'll just wear it to work. Yeah, yeah go be for fine. It. Smart casual. <laughs> what else is going on? We've got some delicious monster energy here tonight. Oh, so I yeah. never had one of these before, but sure. You can do what you want. They're, they're, I mean, I've got my monster no sugar. It smells it goes, excessively It goes sweet. great with my diabetes. Um, so I feel like if I drink this, yeah. I won't sleep tonight. It's cold. Does that does does caffeine and such have such an effect on you? Oh yeah, it just yeah. makes me all. Oh, it does not uh, affect me even like slightly. Like if I don't have at least two coffees a day. I get pretty bad headaches. Okay. I can get mild nausea. Ooh. Mm. Coffee is Sounds evil. like you've got a problem. Yep. <laughs> yeah. There was that time that I was, I was having withdrawals and didn't realize why. Because <laughs> I was just on a weekend and mm. I was just started feeling like really lethargic, mm. nauseous, headache. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Had a coffee, bam, yeah. gone. My, um, my coworker tries to detox on his coffee and he's so grumpy yeah. he does that. <laughs> Uh, I just I love coffee. I mean, yeah. if I cut out bread, that happens. <laughs> I have the bread sweats. It's like, oh, oh, just a sourdough. Oh. I've had tea lately. It's all right. Tea's okay. Yeah. So have you tried a copious amount of Pepsi Max? Mm, it makes my teeth feel funny. Oh, who doesn't like some furry teeth? Mm. <laughs> On to the video game video discussion. Video games. <laughs> okay, we've got some big ones to talk mm, about. This oh God, there's been so much that's been happening. That list is scary. It's not that scary. There's are some big ones. Mm. Yeah. Shall we start um, with a video game? Yeah, let's do it. Maybe. Should we... Which one should we start with? Yeah, let your heart that decide. One. Okay. You're pointing at the only game on the table, Death Stranding. A game by Hideo, <laughs> Hideo. Kojima. Yeah, Hideo Kojima. Um, <laughs> he's... He's... He's over. He's... That dude. The, he's a, he's the master of auteur theory in yeah, the gaming he's, space. He is quite the auteur. Yeah. He had made mm. a video game, which I will just say my summary impression of, mm-hmm. which is a game I like playing as much as I like making fun of it, <laughs> which is quite a <laughs> lot in both cases. Yes, there's a lot to do both of. Yes, it is uh, both a game that I find captivating and very intelligently put together and one of the stupidest games I've ever played in my entire life um, at the same time. Yes. And, um, but I mean, I've now yeah. played it a lot. Yep. Uh, I think I'm now, I looked at my time, I'm 40 hours in. Okay. Yep. Uh, and I just hit chapter six. I think I'm moving slower than most. Yeah, uh, from what I've heard. Yeah, because I think you can finish the game in about 45 hours, is mm. about what I heard. Um, and yeah, I'm... <laughs> I'm a long way. I can see myself. The, getting... the the end chapters get shorter. Yeah, I, I expect that. Like I think the the biggest one's meant to be like three. Yeah, or three is like the that. longest. And, and, uh, and, but the thing is, the game also. We'll get into the details a bit more in a second. But uh, um, you can take longer sort of at any time because it is there is a lot of opportunity to do your own thing. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you the people's there. Playtime can vary quite greatly. Yeah, if you are someone who wants to mainline through that story, mm-hmm. which you can do, there's nothing yep. stopping you from doing it. Um, but yeah, I expect there'll be some speed run where people actually. I, I think that it, could, <laughs> it might be the, the first speed run I ever actually watch when someone feel like figures out how to finish. I mean, that game. you got quite stressed watching me just run around. It like made a me. It did. I, I, I was groaning and mm. I was not a happy man. So um, I've decided, spoiler wise, because uh, this is a game that people have a lot of. Um, passion about but if you have not played it at this point i'm going to assume you are not super super sensitive so we are going to talk about content story content that may fall in the first two chapters it's not like we're going to go through point by point or anything uh, but we are sort of going to liberally discuss that in that if you haven't jumped on straight away and you're looking for a reason to maybe this will give you one yes there's going to be a lot a lot (laughs) past this point um, and again, we're not going to just talk about everything that happens, but we will 
not bother saying spoiler yeah. before everything we yeah, say. Yeah. Um, but, and we won't talk about anything past two because I haven't played anything mm. past two anyway. Mm. Um, so, spoiler. Death Stranding is a game where you play Sam Porter Bridges. Uh, not the stupidest name in the whole thing. Um, <laughs> the puppies. The puppies are back. They've already burst in. through. He's come through. Hello, Dusty. Hello, Dusty. Oh, yes. Who's a happy boy you it's are? It's Dusty. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he needs a scratchy. Ah. Okay. And he's... Is yeah. toast up too? Or uh, I didn't see him run up. No, no. He's just, Dusty's just doing enough jumping for all of them. <laughs> hey, good boy. Good boy. Um, yes. So, uh, open world game... Uh, <laughs> now everyone's up. <laughs> there they go. Oh, it's barking time. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone enjoy the puppies. <laughs> One thing, whilst being distracted by the puppies, yeah. I did as soon as I started to try and describe what this game is, I have just hit brick walls yeah. in my head so, as well. So yeah. Cheryl asked me Hello. to <laughs> to summarize <laughs> what the game the is. The concept. The concept. Well, yeah, like if I was to describe what it is, um, and. Really, the the best I can do is yeah. It's just I think they're fine. Let's close the door. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> but Paul, but but Paul is Dusty's treat. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Dusty. I'm treat. Yeah, he's going. Uh, nah, no. he's alright. He's alright. Um, and I can only comment what the game is to me. And if I was going to summarize... <laughs> no, no, no. This is already just going to like, well, you know, in my heart. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. no, it is a walking simulator. If I'm going to, if I'm going to like... Ra- no, 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 Into what it is. You cannot use that term because that term means something that this game is not. I'm going to say... This is literally a walking simulator. It is literally, it is literally a walking simulator. But it is not a walking simulator. It is not a walking simulator, but it simulates walking. Uh-huh. Is what it is. Uh-huh. The kind of things you do when walking... You do in this game. So, like, tripping over. Tripping over, like, analyzing terrain. Yep, yep. Because you've got a giant load of stuff on your back. Okay. And you can, it's very well animated. Yep. And so you actually need to read the terrain uh-huh. as you're walking. That's uh, cool. So, and there's a button to do it. Like, yeah, you've yeah, got yeah. a button that says, you know, t- tells you the grade of the terrain. And yep. you think, like, why would a game need a button to tell you the grade of the terrain? You don't need an aim. You just run. No, you don't. Okay. No, you later on, you really don't <laughs> do that. Then I trip over. <laughs> Yeah, then, you just pick yourself up again. Yeah. Okay. James <laughs> was so it. stressed watching me just... Look, I have to S-rank every delivery. But... No. <laughs> but you weren't, because you had such slow time. No, no, but still you've, S-rank. You've changed I still, it now. I still get S-rank. Uh, so I think, like, mechanically, it's a walking simulator, because mm-hmm. that is what you're doing. Yep. That is 100% the game. Mm-hmm. Um, like, if you want to not shoot anyone in this thing mm-hmm. and do just that, it's at least... What I've played so far, yes, you can do that. Okay, that's um, good. This also isn't what I was meaning when I like, summarise what the game is about. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> so the, the main action in the game is walking. Yes. We've got, we, we we got, got that. that. Okay. I've got that. It is in a, a future sort of post-apocalypse of some sort. Mm-hmm. Something happened called the Death Stranding. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, and basically, I think sort of the main gist, without getting into too many of the complications, is when somebody dies... Uh, their body basically becomes a ticking time bomb. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and if you don't get rid of the body in time or get it away from it, it's basically a nuclear explosion and yeah, wipes well, out well, part well, really of the landscape. Yeah, bigger and, than that. Like, you... I mean, they can get pretty big. Yeah, but not like 10% of the US big. <laughs> like... Like you have but like, that's not yeah. as big as they are in the game. No, you, well, you get the overhead map. Yeah, 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 and you can see some massive. Like, yeah, there are some like the, like the void outs can be maybe they're quite complete. variable. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I've, you I've, you see one early on. Yeah, at least from like the topographical map you see, mm-hmm. they get significantly bigger than that. Yeah. So they, yeah, they're they're big. So is it depending bad. on like the person's size or they? Don't 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 don't, 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 don't try and think like that. Okay, yeah, just, I will not. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So and then there's like there's a bit and if. And, and you have a thing that means that you don't die like that. You can be reborn, but yeah, fuck. It's already you're, confused. This you're sounds amazing. Repriat, re- 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 so like it that. is the least subtle game ever made. Yes. As the main character, he is, a, you know, he's someone that carries bags. So mm-hmm. his middle name is Porter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And his job is to build bridges between the, the not yet, but soon to be United Cities of America. Mm-hmm. Uh, so his last name is Bridges. Yeah. <laughs> and his first name is Sam because I guess it's generic. Yep. Unless yep. there's a meaning behind uh, it as well. Nothing I've come across yet. Yep. 
Uh, all the other characters are named very similar. Yep. We've got we've got de- we got, hard- got Die, <laughs> we got die ha- Hard Man, Die Hard Man, Dead Man, <laughs> Die Hard. Yeah, one he yeah. says Die Hard Man. It's, it's Die Hard Man, but everyone says Die Hard Man. Yep. <laughs> um, nice. Yeah, there's, there's Dead Man. There's it's Hard bloody, Man. Yeah. There's Mama. Uh, fragile. There's fragile. She's she's fragile. She's fragile. And she's just got fragile written all over her body in yeah. case Aww. you forget. Yeah. Um, it is the least. Uh, and so, your character has a pair of handcuffs on his wrist, <laughs> and this is the part that broke us because we were already like laughing at a lot of the bullshit, like enjoying it but laughing at it. Mm. And they're like, "Oh, what's with the handcuffs?" We're like, "Oh, well, these are your communication devices. It's it's a link system. We call them cufflinks." <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, "Fucking That's hell, uh, this uh, is uh, that." Like, oh, like, I was already in love with the game before that, but that was just a. That's mwah. great. Ah, thank you very much. You sold it. To I've me. heard complaints that the game has no sense of humor. I don't agree. No, it does. It's very it, silly. Yeah, it's very self-aware of what it's doing. Mm. Oh. I sometimes wonder about Hideo's self-awareness. Uh, uh, no, I think he knows what he's doing. I think he's self I think, yes, he does, but yeah. also he's... Maybe he just doesn't respect his audience as well. Maybe he knows what he's doing, but he also thinks everyone's a real dummy. So I better hit it hard. Oh, I don't I've, know. I, I I've feel hit like it hard, but could I hit it harder? I, I just think there's also just a bit of him doing what he wants. Uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe he doesn't... I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't respect me. That wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... One of the first things in the game, one of the early missions, and this is where, this is sort of my general criticism of the game, and I I think it goes a bit beyond this, but where the game really wants to go for some emotional pulls apart. One of the things, like there's a chemical in the air that literally makes people cry and stuff. So they're just like looking at the distance and crying for no apparent reason. It's supposed to be emotional, but it's not really. Um, But early in the game, you have uh, a a dead uh, paternal figure and you have to get their body away from the city. Mm-hmm. So you have their corpse strapped to your back and time to go for a hike. Cool. And James is watching Paul, who's still <laughs> new to the mechanics and isn't taking this seriously as he was, no, running around the countryside with no. his corpse on my back. Um, and I was doing fine. I was, I was like, okay. I wasn't being stupid, stupid. I wasn't falling yeah, over or anything. Sure. But I was just like, I was being pretty rare. And then I'm like, I'm just going to walk through this small creek because I've walked through other small creeks. This is fine. At that point, I get knocked over and the body starts getting washed down the yes. creek. <laughs> yeah. And I'm chasing it down to grab it and everything. <laughs> it's a very silly moment, but it shouldn't have been a silly moment. In fact, this probably should have been quite poignant. Yes. I was thinking about it like if they were going to make a Death Stranding movie, the movie should be just up to the end of that story. Mm. Most of the movie should be you trudging with this corpse of, <laughs> on your back. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. On your back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, and, and, and not you jumping. And, and well, no, even, even if you go through the river and it gets pulled off the back, and, like that should be like a real panic emotion and yeah. l- less me yeah. laughing at like the funny Breath <laughs> of the Wild <laughs> physics in the world where, hey, look, everything lined up together. <laughs> look, I got to go. The body's getting away quick. Run, Paul, run, get to the body. <laughs> yep. um, and I was like, if, if only it had just been a... A little bit more considered, and maybe even at that point, maybe even a little more scripted still. Mm. Where I was like, this could have been like a really big emotional it's, impact. It would have been because there's lots of things that happen in the game where it will respond, mm-hmm. uh, and that could have been one of them. And it's actually generally pretty good for like if you do something because there's still like only so much you can do in the world. You, you know what I think is the bad part of that? I think it's that Sam's not a very interesting character. Mm. Uh, and if, if Sam could emote in some way himself in that sort of scenario. Um, yeah. Because he, he says things now and then. But he's, he's pretty withdrawn. Yeah, he's pretty yeah. withdrawn from yeah. it. Yeah, he, he's quite blank. And that's yeah. fine. But I guess what, that's how you'd be? Uh, it's mean, just how I, he is. Like, yeah. 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 He, yeah. Like, he doesn't feel like a non-character to me. No, but yeah. it's like, like... He doesn't give you a lot. And especially in that for that scenario yeah. to happen so early in the yeah. game... I'm still needing... To, I haven't... Yes. Like, haven't. that relationship has only just been yeah. introduced to me and it's already over. So, so, so far from uh, most of the emotional stuff that I've seen so far is not through Sam. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's... Because it, basically you're going... Chapters tend to be focused around one character. Because, mm. um, like, at least so far, a lot of the chapters have just been named after a character. Yeah. Uh, and each chapter is really just learning their story. Oh, that's cool. uh, So, yeah, like, it's... Sam himself isn't the isn't really the kind of the, the thing I give a shit about. Yep, yep, yep. It's it's really just learning about the world and learning about... Oh, He's whatever the vector character. for everything else. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that, that's okay. Like, I don't... I don't really feel like I need to give that much of a shit about Sam. We haven't even mentioned the BBs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There are BBs. Babies that you wear on your chest that 
find ghosts for you. Yeah, their, their parents died when they were still inside them. So oh. we pulled them out and we made them into tools. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 So your so Sam has a fetus yep. on his chest. Yep. Um, okay. Which, which when it gets upset, you have to nurse by rocking the controller back and forth. Yes. Oh, that's so cool. It's yeah. okay, little baby. Yeah. It's okay. Watch out for the yeah. giant monsters. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're invisible monsters that you can see the BTs, and that's what the BBs help you just detect. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's all a bit weird. <laughs> that's Le- right. Lisa's trying, trying to get, get the dog out. Dylan Dusty. Go, go, Dusty, go! <laughs> and off he good goes. Good boy, good boy. Oh, well, yeah, he <laughs> Win him I, over. Yeah, he yeah. knows his... Yeah, yeah. I he, know you're trying to get me out of the room, but I want to stay. Yeah. He's um, good. yeah, so there's the, there's a lot of kind of strange narrative elements yeah. in there, which is you know, what kind of want in a Hideo Kojima yeah, game. Yeah. Uh, Should we spoil the craziest thing that starts happening earlier in the game. Should you? Because I'm, I'm kind of starting to get invested in this. Um, just to show the extent of what can just happen in the landscape. Oh, no. I think that's that's pretty cool when... Because, yeah, I've, I made sure that you saw it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now that is... When you get dragged yeah, down yeah, by yeah, the yeah. tar hands, something, something happens. Something happens. That's okay. quite, quite surreal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And are there, like, variations on that? Uh, there has been so yeah. far. I mean, it's still the same basic thing. Okay. But yeah. So yeah, I mean, we're, we're trying to explain. Because exp- here's the thing. Like, the game is slow. Mm-hmm. The game is deliberately boring. It's yeah. methodical. Yeah. Um, but it's also not that lonely of an experience. No. This is one of the really clever things I've done. And like, I, full disclaimer, I fucking love this game. Mm-hmm. Um, like, without dead, shout out to that, this is my game of the year. Without question. Um, it's, it's for me. It's the best thing I've played probably the last three or four years. Mm. I love it. Um, this is a man that fell off out of wilds. Can't yeah. trust a fucking word uh, he says. And <laughs> and it, it's because it is a truly unique experience where I'm doing a whole bunch of things that mm-hmm. I haven't done. But it's also not a game of the year for everyone by any mm-hmm. stretch of the imagination. I mean, I am someone who will happily jump into Elite Dangerous and spend four or five hours space trucking. Nice. And yep. be a very happy man doing yep. it. Uh, so when, <laughs> I'm someone that drops most games by the four hour mark. <laughs> so, so when it's like, I need to deliver something and it might take me 20 minutes, mm-hmm. that's fine. Yep. Uh, where it's really well put together, like the, the space is huge. Mm-hmm. Like it's, it's like these giant continents, which are really, they use, I think, what's the name of the tech they use to map it? Of something um, I remember. It looks like it looks like a real place. Um, it doesn't look like America. It does not look like America, yeah. um, which hasn't really been much talk it's about more, yet. More like Scotland. More like yeah, it's a bit more okay. European. It's um, there's a lot of variation in the environment. Yeah, I've but, seen some further spots. Cause yeah, because basically it almost becomes like puzzles, working out the best way to navigate yes, these yeah, different environments. Yeah. Um, but so it's huge. Yep. But everything is spaced just close enough. Okay, that's good. Um, so. You look at the map and it's like, all right, well, I need to go from here to here. Yep. Um, I can look at it and go, well, I'll probably take me 15, 20 minutes. Yep. Um, and I can see it in the distance. Yep. Uh, and it's just, you just walk there. Yep. Um, and that's where it becomes the walking simulator yep. or the game in which simulates walking. Yep. Um, because I'm just doing the things like if I was walking to the shops. Yep. Okay. So it's like. So speaking of walking to the shops where you only want to make one trip. <laughs> um, a, a, part, a, a big part of the game is literally when you're getting the cargo when, so you've got both the cargo you've got to deliver mm. and then other things you might pick up on the way and also supplies that you might have taken mm. with you yep. and you physically put that stuff on your body and the weight distribution matters yeah. Okay, that's so cool. the, you, you could have 15 foot tie boxes stacked on your back which, which you can do <laughs> but it does make you very unstable you have to be very careful but then there's tools you can get that can yep. mitigate part mm-hmm. of that and such on um, but it does mean that Part of the game is literally you're walking over rocky surfaces and you start tilting and you've got to yeah. tilt back the other way yeah. to not fall yeah. over yeah. and stuff so, like that. So, like, there's two buttons you hold down which will center your gravity. Mm-hmm. Um, but if it's really quite tall, yep. you can still kind of, like, wobble. wobble. Yeah. So, you end up sort of releasing the weight left and right a bit to okay. kind of correct. Yeah. Um, and so, you've got to do that while walking, you know, through mm. pretty rough terrain sometimes. Um, and yeah. you, you know, you got to like, if you see a rock, it's like, well, I need to go around it. So I have to kind of like worry about my momentum Ugh. to go around. And like, if you turn too fast, you yeah. fall over. There might be a little creek. And you're like, well, if I go through that, I might get swept away. <laughs> so you might build a little bridge over mm. it. Or as will start coming apparent, as you, as you link up to new places, uh, they join your network. And mm. once you're part of that network, you start seeing things that other players have put down. Mm. Oh. So you're walking along and that 
creek you need to there's already a bridge yeah. there. Mm-hmm. You walk up to it, and not only do you get to cross that bridge, you can give it a bunch of likes. Ah, yes. Ah, oh, great bridge. Great, yeah. great, great work there. Yep. Um, and people can like your stuff, and you start getting actual infrastructure projects, mm. which everyone sort of around the same area basically contributes together. Yeah. Like, okay. I'm going to start building this, and like, then you go away. Other player, players. players. Yeah. Other, other players. Now, you'll okay. never see yeah. other players, yeah, yeah, yeah. but there's a communal aspect of mm. things. That so you, is cool. So, so, yeah, you start something, and then you come back to add to it, and someone's already yeah. completed it. So, when I log on, mm-hmm. or even just as I'm playing, yep. I will get notifications saying such and such player has liked your bridge because they've used it. Such yep. and such has used this that you built. Yep. They've left some ropes for you to yeah. use. Yeah. Um, even your path matters. Yeah. Um, um, where if you if players like walk the, the same sky, route, yeah. it if will it actually easier. change the terrain yeah. so that you can see where people walk. Yes. So you end up with like uh, because it kind of lays it in the further you get along. Yep. Um, so you'll end up yeah, you're with down the gra- uh, grass. Yeah. And dirt so you'll and end up feeling like you know, at first when you see the area, it's big, or open, and barren. Yep. But after a while, it's like no people have walked through. You know, That's like awesome. you can. Say, I need to get over there. Yep. I can see this is the best path to yep. get there because people have literally. Yep. Think about it. It. And, and it also has in the so one of the mechanics in the game is there's this rain mm-hmm. uh, and the rain is corrosive and yep. it can damage your gear which <laughs> is one of those things it's a bit of a shitty mechanic but also understandable why yeah. it's there but also it means that all this stuff that people are building is actually temporary yes. mm. okay. so yeah. there's about a two week leeway sense. on things yeah. so things are always but then and you you're always can repair it yes so if there's stuff which is really useful yep. can, it stays there yep. so and and they'll try to like it'll keep propagating sort of similar groups that you've already seen. So you'll start seeing the same names over and over again. And if you do like someone's work, you can sort of friend them and then you'll see even more of their stuff. You you can kind of like, oh yeah, I favorite. And when you you see the list of people, it'll tell you how many likes they've given you. Mm. Uh, So you can find the people that are kind of engaging with you. And it's like you build up your own little community without (gasps) actually talking to anyone. And this is what the whole stranding game stuff that Hideo was talking about is. And it is weird. It's a completely single player game yeah, with a very it's... vibrant multiplayer community. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's it's like the Dark Souls idea take of big chest yeah. up ahead, yep. taken to the nth degree mm. where it's actually useful. Yeah. Um, and also, like, you can pick up cargo that other players have dropped. Mm. You can leave your stuff for other people to deliver yeah. and they can deliver it for you. You can make missions. So if you mm. say, like, I want. This, this stuff delivered here yep. you can go like set up an actual mission for another player to do it for oh, you oh that's cool it it really is incredibly unique and what I thought was going to happen with this game was like there's all this cool social stuff around it mm. and all that but I, I thought that the game is still going to be about walking mm. and that mechanic after a while I will get sick and tired of yep. um, but they have they keep finding new things to do cool. they they keep giving there's me new tools new tools there's new di- multiple types mechanics, of vehicles mm. new vehicles stuff. like they actually do a really good job at like exploring different ways of traversing mm. through terrain and giving you new challenges to go through different kinds of terrain. Mm. So you're being quite positive. So yes. let's talk about some shit. The UI yes, I is shit. Want, I need to I hear hate some. the UI. Um, it's fucking... The text is so goddamn tiny. Yeah. I was like, I really do need the, to go get glasses because this is stupid. The thing with the UI is also you kind of ignore it. Um, like there's a lot of stuff they you have. You get used to it and ignore it, but it's not well. It's not super well designed. No, so... It's, there's a lot of information it gives you. Like mm. when you complete a delivery, there's like seven, eight things <laughs> yep. that is like it's a little grade you on. Yep. Um, but luckily, there's a button you press which just skips it. Okay. Um, so which is good to get past it, but it's sort of negating the initial problem, yep. which is this is too much of an information dump yes. that isn't relevant to what? the player primarily. <laughs> so yeah, the game it it does. And this actually sort of comes back to the likes a bit as well. Mm. And they, they kind of talk, like, there's all this, like, lore that you can read. And because I, I'm a huge nerd about it, I read all the lore, I all like the, the emails. Lore. That's good. Um, and w- one of the things I think is... <laughs> Conversely, when he watched me, he was watching me just hammering past yeah. the skip text button. No. <laughs> well, because I was <laughs> reading it. They were talking <laughs> too slow. Because they, 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 they early on talk about, like... Um, delivering oxytocin as a quest objective um it's like in the first few missions it's kind of what you're doing they call them smart drugs but they actually say oxytocin yeah um and so a lot of what you're doing is delivering oxytocin around um the the um porters Mm -hmm. aren't paid yep like it is a thing that they do okay it's basically volunteer work yep um what you get paid in is likes Oh, okay. so, so it's like the internet. Yeah, so it's like you're paid by someone liking a, what you Reddit do. Reddit karma is how you survive. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, and it's interesting because they're kind of like it sounds silly, mm-hmm. but it's exactly what it's doing to the player. Mm-hmm. 
Um, like they very, it's very clever about giving yes. like like the sounds that kind of like this is the like sound. Yep. Um, this is and, a good sound. and it's like it's not really trying to hide the fact it's okay. doing it. But this is this is one of the reasons I like it so much. Like it's it's very clever in how it uses likes and oxytocin delivery yeah. as a reward mechanic to the actual player, but then incorporates wow. that into the story. Yeah. So one of the things we haven't touched on is that there are enemies in the world. Oh. Now these are all porters that basically got addicted to likes. Oh, the mules. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's some um, mules. That's great. Yeah, so they basically are stealing packages and hoarding yes. them to get as many likes yeah. as possible. So, and you and like, and they'll steal your packages and you have to go rob them monsters. back yeah. off you. So a little like bit about the lore from that one. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's a, so they're like automated cars happened uh-huh. and it went too far. Yeah. And so it was like people wanted jobs real bad. Yep. Um, and it was like they became addicted to it. So it's like it was like this backlash to like automated. Yeah. Like, it's yeah, it's, it gets kind of weird in the hideo way. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it does make sense to it. Though. it it's a and the, oh, yeah, there's like yeah, there's the combat stuff that's in there. Uh, the combat is, is incredibly easy. It's very easy. Um, but what's easy about it is you can avoid so much of it. Like because it's a big open world. Mm. Like there are the like the BTs, which are basically little stealth parts of the game. Yep. Oh, you can just go around. Okay. Like vast majority of the time, because um, you can look up and you can see like the rainbow, the upside down rainbow, which mm. is basically it's kind of where they are. Yeah. And the big, um, like basically kind of strands, whatever yeah. they are, cords that go into the into the sky. Yeah. And it's like there Fast are BTs strands. over there. Um, and if you see that, you yeah. can just. Not go there. You can yeah. go around. Like, there's nothing stopping you from doing that. Because you can negotiate yeah. most environments yeah. depending on yeah. what's in yeah. your pack. Yeah, but there was one part early on where I got to a spooky forest. Ooh. And I looked at that spooky forest and went... That's spooky. Nope. I'm going to go and around And I just forest. noped around the spooky forest. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't have enough to deal with it. Like, that's an option. That's so, right, yeah. it's been interesting talking to other people playing it. Because I think other people have a more direct approach with, like, how they're going through it. Um, whereas I'm more like like me running down the yeah yeah like Paul would, Paul would run into the spooky forest yeah um, no this looks like the fastest way <laughs> and it is the fastest way um, whereas I'm like Don't yeah wanna. so so I think what, what yep. I like about that is that you can for a lot of it play it how you want to play it yep. so if you're someone like me that wants to be basically the space trucker that I am in elite um, you can kind of do it like there's yeah. just enough tension going on um, that like I still need to be careful yes. And every now and then I'd have to yep. get involved in, in some BTs and mm. avoiding them or, or mules or whatever. You guys I, have sold me on it. I, I, I saw oh, it. But I don't know if I recommend it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. If you're like, Because it appeals to a very certain yes. like personality type. So, so okay. I, for instance, uh, James is about to go on a holiday, so he's lending me his copy. Yep. I've only put in about five hours mm-hmm. so far. Um I want to keep playing it. I'm going to try and complete chapter three. Mm -hmm. And once I complete chapter three, I'm going to YouTube the rest (laughs) because I'm not going to put in another 50 hours after that. That I just know I'm not going to do that. No, yeah. But if you do want, like it is, Mm. like I can imagine, like, you know, I reckon at yours pace, you know, we're looking at like a 70, 80 hour sort of thing. That's probably, I reckon that'll take I think it's entirely possible for someone to potentially put in hundreds of hours depending on what they like doing. Like you can just go and noodle around this world. Yeah. Um, you might have to be in different chapters and everything for mm. it, but like people can pump in hours if they want, and they can do it a bit faster. Its main loop is it is slow. It's an empty world. It, that's the feeling that it's going for. Mm. If that doesn't appeal to you potentially as a thing, then you know buyer beware on that. Mm. But it's like I, I really really need to have a home. How stupid this game is! <laughs> it is <laughs> like it is the most blunt instrument I have ever experienced but at the same time i was really enjoying that yeah. that sort of silliness mm. and that the freedom to just sort of go for it um and i kind of wish kind of wish some of the performance were a little bit bigger to match that but being understated whilst being overly blunt is kind of fun at the same time Yeah, because it, it kind it's of a, flip-flops between basically nothing happening yeah because i'm just walking yeah and then 20 minute cutscene. yeah and i might understand half of what's going on okay um so yeah, it's it's like it won't do anything until it does a lot, mm-hmm. and then it won't do anything for ages. Okay. Yeah. Um, and like, because I, I was terrible. And like, and, and, but also, it's like one of those things when I was getting close to the end of mine, I went on one last adventure, and that event, I was just going to walk and do one delivery. Mm. But enough stuff fucked up in that one yeah. delivery that it was epic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, but I also could have just walked there and have nothing happen. Yeah. So, 
it is a game where it has the systems that are layered upon each other and lots can happen mm. and it can continue to surprise you. Um, so I, I, I think he, pu- he, he pulled it off. Yeah. This yeah. game which came out like no one thought it was coming out this year. It's like they announced end yeah. of 2019 and we're like, the fuck? Mm. Yeah. No, this is a PS5 r- nope. release at earliest. Mm-hmm. Like, no, it's out. It's out <laughs> November. Get ready for it. Like a few weeks beforehand, still no one's ever played it. And we're like, wow. Yeah. No. He's still yeah. not like letting people see what this game really is. And, yeah. and he's and, saying things like, oh, it's a new genre. Um, mm. Yeah. He doesn't even really know what it is. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's, there's a birth of Strand games now. And like, <laughs> video, what are and you talking going, about? Like, it, it looks like everything we've seen is just walking through an environment. I think it's just a boring walking game. It's probably going to be five hours long and boring. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, it's 80 hours long and kind of boring, but also captivatingly so. Mm. Um yeah, it, it's the production values. It looks great. Yep. Uh, it's got some pretty good sound design. Really yep. enjoyed. Yeah. Um, I say as stupid as it is, brilliant. <laughs> as someone who loves the game, I agree. Yeah. And and like I guess because I'm such a Hideo fanboy, I just embrace the stupid. And I'm not. A, I'm not a Hideo and fanboy. That's why I'm there. I'm there for yeah. like just dumb Hideo shit, mm. and it delivers. There are cufflinks. Yep. That, yeah. you that get, sounds you, amazing. You, you also, get it? Because they, they link yes, you yeah, 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 and they go on your cuff yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're cufflinks. And so, they're, they're as well. <laughs> so when you get to a base, you get to go into Tamagotchi land where you get to play with Tamagotchi. Sam. Yeah, but your, your Tamagotchi is, is Sam. Uh, what, uh, Norman Reedus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's but okay. don't try to look at his penis. He doesn't like that. No, he doesn't like that. <laughs> so <laughs> the, he always has some cans of monster energy on the table, which uh-huh. is why we're embracing monster. Uh, but also, like, if you go and have a shower uh, to cover up the nudity, an ad goes on the shower and it's for Norman Reedus' <laughs> motorcycle show on AMC. Oh my God, that's amazing. And it's like, what? What the fuck is that in this universe? Like, nah, it's just... It's just hideous. And but the thing is like, you're like, oh, there must, there must be must be product placement everywhere. No, mm-hmm. just ca- there's kind the, of those two places. There's Mother. As, and, 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 and Norman AMC Reedus' show. AMC, it's like the, AMC show. Okay. It's just the two things. Which isn't The Walking Dead. It's like him going across America yeah. on motorcycles, yeah. like as a doco thing. Yeah. Like, oh, so it's not Walking Dead? No, 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 no. no, no. It's, it's, it's him, Norman Reedus, Norman Reedus. It's, Norman, it's, it's like, I think it's like when um, Ewan McGregor did that like motorcycle diary show. Okay. Yeah, it's like, a, I like bikes and we're going to travel around Aww, the US. That sounds fun. Which is... Maybe thematically even appropriate, appropriate, but for the not, game. not 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 <laughs> like literally appropriate for the game because <laughs> there's no MC, mm-hmm. there's no Norman Reedus. No. <laughs> so, uh, we found these, we found this in the records. We quite enjoyed <laughs> it. Um, what a stupid game! Oh man, that some of that Tamagotchi stuff so weird and so like. For some reason, he brings his, his model collection with him everywhere. Everywhere he goes, yeah. there's his model collection. Yeah. You can do dress ups. Oh. You can. You can look. You can look in the mirror and make silly faces and take photos. I'm sold. <laughs> um, and then BB likes that. You get yeah. you get likes from BB by like making silly faces in the in the That's mirror. That's awesome. Such a weird game. I'm sold on the Tamagotchi <laughs> stuff. Yeah. I, I just I think you'd hate it. No. <laughs> I, I, I don't I, I'm not sure I'm not sure if Amy's overall taste how that would intersect uh, I mean when I'm done with it you can borrow it as oh well. I was gonna ask um, but I think I'll be playing this for a long time yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, I could just wait for a sale and I'd be faster <sighs> so death, it's coming out on PC next year as well yeah, yeah. it should be interesting because uh, it's because it's. Um, Would you make, recommend a PS4 Pro for it? Because I've just got the plain on PS4. I don't. I have, I, from only, what I hear, it's runs fine on everything. I've only Sounds played good. it on a Pro. Yeah. No. Yeah, and I will now play it on my standard, but I haven't done it yet. So yep. we'll find out. I mean, um, as long as it's fine, I'm. I'm no, the like, <laughs> um, Kojima stuff has uh, generally been performance-wise very good. Awesome. Like, um, what uh, what they did with Metal Gear Solid Five was yep. crazy. Okay, cool. So it, the performance has been good. Perfect. Yeah. Um, and I was going to say, what's kind of cool about it being on PC is that the engine it's running on is uh, the Horizon Zero Dawn engine, mm. which okay. is proprietary Sony. So they've done work to get that ported, which so, is an interesting fact to take into next generation. Because yeah. mm. um, there is no other, no reason why anyone really would do that port mm. work. That must have been did, a big job. Yeah, it did confuse me when yeah. it came to PC. It'd be like, yeah, like a first party game coming to PC. Like, okay. I mean, I well, it's not I it's not first party, but Gorilla and oh, there was another studio that worked on it. So they had assistance from Sony first party studios. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cuz uh Hideo is still independent. Okay. But okay. Sony put in a bunch of money for yeah. it. But they also do not have I believe they don't have any like ownership over it. Mm. They just uh, yeah. went, went at least for initial yeah. release in the deal and any other yeah. details of the deal we don't know. Mm. So I'm I'm hoping having played this now that 
there isn't a Death Stranding 2. I want Hideo to keep doing weird shit. Because mm. yeah. okay. I know with Metal Gear Solid, he wanted out of it for a long time. He kept saying every game was like, it's my last one, it's my last <laughs> one. What what if what if there was a Death Stranding MMO? Well, it kind of already is one. Yeah. <laughs> but like other players actually could interact. Um, Like a big sandbox world or something. Yeah. Like, yeah I, I what get... if it was the entire planet and you played, yeah. and you played uh, I mean, where you geographically were? That would be pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd be down for that. Um, okay, so that is Death Stranding. And now I'm going to go on to a very similar game. Shenmue 3. <laughs> hey! Shenmue 3 is out. It is playable. And I, because uh, I kickstarted it, I got my code. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I saw it was coming out later in the week. I'm like, I wonder if I've got a code. I looked it up and it just got active. I'm like, nice. oh, good to download. Uh, get in. So Shenmue 3 literally picks up from the last seconds of yeah. Shenmue 2. And I do not fucking remember what happened in Does those it, first um, two games. Graphically, is it pretty much look the same? No, or? people keep saying that. And then you're like, you're a fucking idiot. Those <laughs> games are from the Dreamcast. Do you know how long ago that was? I'm not saying you're a fucking idiot. I'm saying those people. It's like, <laughs> oh. I'm, not saying, I'm not saying that it <laughs> doesn't look... Yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's not like top of the line. But yeah. It's also like, no, the... It's certainly in the style of yeah, the Dreamcast. But no, yeah, the yeah. technology is far better. I don't what this um, looks like. So uh, it, it picks up. I have no memory of what the hell's going on. In I the story. feel like there should have been a previously on. There, there maybe there is one hidden somewhere. The game does not start with a previously yeah. on. It definitely should because who? Even people that and I have I've played to completion both the original games, both on the Dreamcast. And, and how, how many years ago was that? Now, fifteen, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, my memory is not that yeah. good. Um, it's like. Uh, other than the exact complete hardcore, nobody is that up to date with their Shenmue lore, surely. <laughs> I don't know. So, so it starts off, I think, God, and here's the thing, I don't even, I think I'm in China? I think I am? I think I'm in the mountains in yeah, China? Yeah. Um, and so it starts, I was like, oh yes, yes, we've just seen the ending revelation of Shenmue 2 about this shit in a cave, which I don't remember the relevance of. It's like, okay, well let's walk to the village. Okay, Rio, this will be great. So you start walk. You got this this woman with you, and you're walking to the village, and there's a cutscene which is basically going like, "Yes, we should go to the village. Yes, good idea. Let's go to the village. <laughs> nice. Shall we walk now? Yes, walking is a positive thing that we can do now." Suddenly, you got control of the ca- of the character. You walk twenty meters, and the girl's just waiting at the end of the twenty meters. Get there, fades back into a cutscene. Wonderful day for a walk to the village. <laughs> yes, shall we enjoy the walk to the village? Yes, we shall. And Ooh. I'm not overly exaggerating the level of the dialogue here. Yeah. And the, That's amazing. In the walk to the village, maybe 12 cutscenes <laughs> of just random little conversations as you go. Each okay. one with just like pointless fading edits as they each mm. one talks and stuff. And sometimes, not quite at that point, but a little bit further on, I, I think it's an automated system to build the, the, the cinematic cutscenes while people talk. So sometimes it'll cut from one shot to mm. an almost exactly the same shot from the oh, same angle. Yeah, yeah. Like, what that cut? What's yeah. going on? <laughs> um, and the thing is, I'm leaning at this point. It's like, man, is this like a re- like? However, they built this is just made of like tiny zones that they just have to constantly load between. Mm. Nope, nope. It's full open. It's full open. Well, you can run from one place to another. They just keep interrupting you with cutscenes every uh. twenty seconds. And you're just like, what the fuck is even going on? <laughs> so I get up to the first fight, which is just like a training thing. Mm-hmm. And it's like, ah, here are the instructions. Push, X, circle, triangle, and square. Try pushing R2. That's not much of an instruction. Yeah, Um, Yeah, what do those things do? (laughs) So I haven't done enough fights yet, but what I tested the first thing would be me standing fighting someone. It's like, I'm going to push triangle. Ah, he did like a jab. Okay, (laughs) I'll push triangle again. He kicked. What? (laughs) (laughs) I think you're just supposed to mash the buttons. <laughs> oh. oh. And you build up like a super and you hit R2 and you do like a big fly kick. It's like, okay. And it couldn't quite work out what was building up to yeah. let me do. I think it was just time. There's no combo graph There's ring. A, uh, and, there was a, and if you hold down left two, he blocks, but they didn't tell us that. <laughs> what the fuck okay. is he? I, I seem to remember the fighting in the first game is to be like a really rudimentary virtual fighter. Yeah. Like not great, but... Like, at least there was, like, a punch button and a kick button. Mm. This seems to be just four random buttons you push. Maybe you eventually learn to control your punches or something. (laughs) But I... I I should go... No, I shouldn't go back. I should watch a YouTube video. I figure out, yeah. yeah. 
Um, so I mean, I, I think I got like the, the. There's probably a recap somewhere. Oh, there's definitely a recap. No, but I want to remember what the fighting mm. was like. Because oh, the quick time yep. events, when they have like action scenes, there's quick time events. Yep. But there was still actual combat as well. Yep, I'm okay. pretty sure there was just like ah. a punch button and a kick button. Mm. Not just a <laughs> hit any of these four buttons and I'm sure something will happen. Mm-hmm. Cool. So, so far, the I game like has games. literally been like. Oh, we need to find these thugs. So just walk around and talk to everyone. And go like, have you seen some thugs? Asking for sailors, yeah, basically. Right. <laughs> it's like, it's like I saw some thugs, but I don't know anything else. But I know a man with a scar on his face saw some Ooh. saw them more. It's like okay, so then you walk around asking everyone, you seen a man yeah, with, with a scar, scar on his face? face. Yeah, <laughs> that seems to be most of the game. Uh, hmm. Okay, so Shenmue was like a story that was written from the beginning, which is like forty chapters long. Yep. First game was like one chapter. Second game was like three or four chapters. Yep, yep. And you're like, ah, okay. So obviously he'll, you know. Zip do, through stuff. Zip here, through. Yeah. Nah, still about the same pace. Aww. Still about like, it's like, oh yeah, it'll only take five more games after this to get the story complete. I, I assume that this one would be just trying to uh, <coughs> close it out. Find some kind of conclusion. Yeah, yeah. As far as I can tell, not at all. Okay. Um, it's still just like going on the original plan. So the thing that's amazing about this game is that it's really like he, uh, I forget the director's name, sorry. Um, he made Shamu 2 mm-hmm. and then they froze his body. That's what I want to ask. Yeah. Because it's a continuation of a very old series. Yeah. I would expect it would take like modern cues and modernize Cause, it. Because there's a lots bit. of games that have taken cues from Shamu. Yeah. Because Shamu is super important. Yeah. Game. Like Shamu is a very seminal piece for that kind of like open world interacting with environments. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, there's a game where you could open a cupboard yeah. and pick up, pick out a thing. So the game started, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm in this house. I'm going to I'm going to go try to open that cupboard and I like walk up to it and hitting the action button nothing happening like Aww. well I guess they took that stuff out because let's face it it was a huge waste of resources yeah. to make like every cupboard in the game yeah. openable and also 99.9% of the time pointless um, but I just hadn't remembered how the control system worked it's, you've got to you've got to look first and then you can, yeah you can open every cupboard yeah, in the game yeah, <laughs> yeah and at its time it was very technically impressive yeah. like you know you could open a drawer and pick yeah. things out yeah. um, but we've kind of moved on from that uh, and I wasn't sure if it would still be trying to do the same tricks. The, pa- the pace of now. the game is very much like, okay, so, so you go into the look mode, look down at the cupboard. The camera then sort of zooms on it a little bit. You can then hit action and you'll open the cupboard. Like, mm. nothing in the cupboard. Okay, so I'll back out. Mm. Close the cupboard slowly and back out. So <laughs> is it better or worse than Red Dead? Oh, better because I can recognize it. And, well, I kind of <laughs> I kind of like it because you can see, like, you can see everything. And kind of the point is that you're not supposed to walk around a game while opening every cupboard. Yeah. Like, if you do that, there's supposed to be for a reason. <laughs> um, which I do appreciate, but also it's kind of... Yeah, it's still... I still like it more than Red Dead. <laughs> 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 it, but, like, even even like the, the UI on screen, it seems like something out of the early 2000s. Mm. Okay. Like, it's just this weird, chunky thing mm. that... I feel anyone could have taken a pass at it and just made it much smoother, mm. but it's so old school. Because, uh, you know, like things like the Yakuza series and everything are direct continuations of those. It's like he hasn't looked at them, not interested. No, nope, I'm just going to make a game like he used to. Like you walk around and it's just, it's somewhere between like a competent game and the um, forklift driving from Shenmue. Mm. So it feels like it's probably a bit better than it used to be, but that was 15 to 20 years yeah. ago. <laughs> uh, and now we kind of expect that, like, if you like, if your shoulder brushes against a pole, you expect the carrier to just sort of like mm. bump up and like yeah. just keep turning. But no, you've got to back up and turn. Mm. Um, um. It's very stiff. I'm just playing. I do not, other than obviously Shenmue fans that want to just relive yeah. it and keep going. Anyone else, I do not know who would be interested mm. in playing mm. this. It is such a weird thing. Yeah, because I'm I, happy it does, but. Because like I haven't got it. <laughs> and. One of the reasons was I looked at it and it looked like such a continuation of just yeah the previous two games. There is no onboarding like, for new players. Like I would be better off just because I've I've got Shenmue one and two. I could just go back and I feel like I'd be better off just playing them than the new one. Yeah, I, I might go back because I know I've got the I think it was on Humble or something. So I've got like yeah yeah, yeah. The, I think the, the same two on yeah. the HD remake or remaster. Um, so I might just go back and have a look at what it was like. Yeah, maybe the tutorials will help. <laughs> maybe maybe it'll explain what the buttons are in yeah. fighting. But yeah, it's such a weird thing to exist. Mm. Um, I don't think it's, it's cool that it exists. Yeah, I don't think it's good, um, but I think it's cool that it exists. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so and oh my god, the di- the dialogue is so bad. It sounded amazing. It is. I was not exaggerating how poor <laughs> that shit is, and it just keeps going. You're like, why have I got another fucking cutscene? Oh no! 
I, oh my gosh. And just yeah, and the yeah. pointless editing throughout it. Like this this could all have been done and over with minutes ago. Anyway, so that is Shenmue, Shenmue 3. 3. Let's talk about some news. News. Oh, there was a lot. Yeah, it's quite a bit of news. Mm, not that happened. Uh, okay, so we had uh, XO19 happening. Uh, so that was Xbox event. And we had a bunch of games announced. Yay. Um, so we'll go through a few of them uh, of note. Uh, so Grounded was announced, which was Obsidian's new game. Yep. Uh, and it is not an RPG, as people kind of expected from Obsidian. They have done games that aren't RPGs mm. before. Uh, and this is, well, it started off with real poor porn. It was like, do I? It's like do basically, like, do you like tiny people? Do you like scale? Do you like yeah. playing with scale? Do you want to have to fight a giant snail? Ooh. You want to run around the grass of a backyard? And it's like, yeah, I do like all these yeah, it's things. Basically, honey, I shrunk the kids. And then they said survival game. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, but it looks kind of it's a multiplayer survival based <laughs> game with a, a building style quite similar to Fortnite style. That sort of like blueprint chunks, um, but tiny. Yeah. So nice theme. I like tiny. A bit actually fighting bugs and stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, it looked okay. Uh, yeah. Next up, we had uh, Tell Me Why, Don't Nod's new game. Uh, and it's very, very much in the Life is Strange style. Mm. Uh, about two twins. Mm-hmm. Uh, so sort of a story of them. I think in the, in the story, in the main story, it is them as adults or young adults. Yeah. Uh, but then it also covers their childhood throughout the story. I think there might well. have been some abusive parents in there. So that one of them's transgender. Um, and they've made a bit of a deal about getting in uh, different organizations, including Checkpoint. Um, to sort of consult on it. Oh, that's awesome. It. I found it, you always get this weird thing that then there was a little bit of kickback to go like, ah, oh, but how many of the actual writers are transgender? Uh, I'm like, well, yeah. none of them, but they're, they're consulting and they're writers. Mm. Like, empathy and being able to write characters is the job of a writer. Yeah. So, um, you can have your feelings of that. I feel it was a, a jab at them that for a company that is like it operating under the, yeah. under the sort of the best of heart with it. It's like, yeah. You can have the conversation about it, don't get me wrong, mm. but it felt like a needless jab mm. from some people. Uh, Rare, we stuff. announced Rare's new game, <gasps> uh, which I was showing Amy before because she hasn't seen it. Everwild. So, yeah. so uh, trailer-wise, basically going for like a co-op thing in kind of a Princess Mononoke world. Yeah. You're in Wildlands. Mm. It there's definitely looked kind of creatures. Pin- pinata to me, like in the sort of art style. Uh, yeah, it's just, can, just textures. I mean, stuff. it doesn't have any of the pinata no, textures. No, it doesn't. But it was just sort of <laughs> the lighting and all. That I mean, yeah, kind of like in the render, like not yeah. so much the character design. No, more, um, yeah, animals. Yeah. I'm meaning, yeah. sorry, yeah. yeah, yeah, and the sort of deer thing at the end that reminded me of one of them Pokemon legendaries from mm. one a few ago. Mm. But I don't know what it is. I don't know about Pokemon. Journey is probably. Um, so we don't know deal. a lot about the game. The basic pitch that's been sort of discussed around is that it's kind of Sea of Thieves in its multiplayer focus, except you're exploring a world together and fantasy mm. stuff. Um, and Sea of Thieves, whilst I ripped the shit out of that game, has continued to get development and had lots of things I liked. But if something comes from a different core, with yeah. like, it could certainly come through pretty well. It looks very nice. Um, okay, uh, we also had, um, uh, we will, we were, we looked at Drake Hollow and now I can't remember. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's Dra- the, the strange, um, the plant people, um, saving the plant people. It looked kind of like, I thought it was co-op. So it's a bit, it's a bit it looks like another dead. multiplayer game. Yeah. yeah. Well, it looked like it's sort Very of like kind of farming and building yeah. like during the day and then fighting enemies yeah. at yeah. night. It felt kind of gothic for some reason. Yeah. All, all of these. Yeah, and it was some sort of like creature raising stuff yeah. as well. That was a, but all of these trailers are so cinematic that very few it, of them. Yeah, it was hard to pick out really what it was. Grounded sort of told the story mm. pretty well. Everything else is a bit. So he's just the environment and the feeling mm. of the game. Um, other than that, um, uh, West of Dead, which is a twin stick shooter, which I was having open beta at the time, which mm. is um, very much looks like a Mike Magnola with uh, Ron art style. Perlman? Ron Perlman That's doing voice, voice work yeah. on it. Uh, so that was kind of cool. Um, I forgot to remind myself what last stop was. Does anyone else remember? It was no, a new game that was announced. I can't remember. Yeah. Uh, other than that, they just had some general announcements. Almost all of the Final Fantasies are coming to Xbox. Oh. Um, we have uh, the Yakuza games are coming. That's uh, Ooh, Zero and Kiwami 1 and 2. Uh, the Kingdom Hearts series is coming to Xbox. Uh, 3rd of December, we uh, Halo Reach is yeah. joining the Master Chief Collection and it's be coming to PC as well. Yep. Um, I'm sure um, about Last Stop. Yeah, Bleeding Edge uh, is getting a March 24th release date. Mm-hmm. That is that Ninja Theory melee-focused Overwatch-style mm-hmm. game, okay. which I wasn't a big fan of playing, but hopefully... I like the character designs. It was just a bit slow. Although someone told me later how you run 
Mm, how do and, you run? Uh, I think you had to double click in one of the sticks. It sounds gross. So nobody worked it out. <laughs> <laughs> Only they had worked it yeah. out. <laughs> I was like, well, it's because it's, it's almost like um, Moberish where you're going on a mount. Yep. So it's not supposed uh, to be like... A, see, yeah, 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 so it just wasn't explained in yeah. the demo we were playing. So nobody was running. So And the level was big and there's only eight mm. people on the fucking map. So it was just a lot of empty space yeah. and time. And if someone was doing so- claiming something and no one was near them, they'd be claimed before anyone could even mm. get there to challenge them. So, um, Project X Cloud, they spoke about a lot of stuff with that. Uh, it's sort of a, a beta at the moment. They've got 50 games available on the, there. Basically, I think they just launched that to make sure that everyone got a positive thing from Microsoft while everyone was tearing Stadia to shreds. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, well-timed. Uh, and so in in the xCloud thing, it is like Stadia. You can stream from their servers, but also you can stream from your home console. Yeah. Okay. So they've got two That's options cool. there. Uh, it's sort of just an add-on idea at the moment. Yeah. We'll see what the actual business comes up next year, but yeah, it I seems can... like, a very in, like a very intelligent way to onboard people onto yeah. that stuff. I think I've uh, missed out on the uh, ripping on Stadia stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll get there. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. oh, okay, cool. Because yeah. I, I must have completely yeah, missed yeah, this. No, oh, that, God, there is so much to rip on. Yeah. Uh, and the last one, which I really probably should end on next card, but I want to end on this just because it uh, was the coolest looking thing. Mm. Microsoft Flight Simulator oh, God, it's just so, looks oh. so good. It looks amazing. People said that it looks like real life, and I think those people are fucking liars because real, real life rarely has conditions that good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just seeing what they're doing with that game <gasps> with, so with mod. Funny. And then like all the... like. The, the clever stuff they're doing with like if you go down low in Africa they'll generate the animals and like it's crazy yep. like it just like it makes me want to get like an actual setup <laughs> well like years ago I um, got a flying lesson for uh, oh, awesome. for a present yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I actually did go and buy a like just a simple um, kind of hotas yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, no actually it's a joystick it's a joystick yep. and at least like flight simulator X used to yep. actually have flight lessons in it that's awesome um, yeah. and it genuinely was very helpful mm. like it, it was like actually teaching you like you know where to look you know you get like you have a certain amount of time to the instruments certain amount of the sky like yep. how to how to read all the different instruments like and then when I flew mm. like it was definitely a leg up like I was more familiar with what was going that's on that's cool so yep. I'm pretty confident that they'll have something like that yeah that this. would be very cool a mate of mine I've always wanted to learn how to fly Dan, Dan yeah. he got his pilot's license on the oh, weekend oh that's awesome he must feel like an idiot now he could have just bought this instead yeah <laughs> <laughs> What a yeah. fool! Uh, uh, I've always wanted to learn how to fly. Oh, it's. I mean, it was really fun flying, but yep. it's it is prohibitively expensive. Yes, um, it's incre- it's insanely expensive. Yes, um, so that's what's stopping. That's me. why, like things like Microsoft Flight Simulator, you know, yep. like you're better off go invest. Like if you're really like, super enthusiast, go invest your five k or whatever yeah. into getting like a lot of good kit, even ten k into getting all your kit. Still cheaper um, than yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. like it's still a better option than like a more reachable option. Um, okay, so since it came up, shall we talk about this launch of the Stadia? Yeah. I'm now, interested. Let now, me, none let me of the drama. None of us have Stadia because it didn't launch in Australia. And also, like, whilst we were, we're positive on the idea, we ain't suckers. Yeah. <laughs> so, you, you've got your um, Ouya in the back. Oh, yeah. I love my Ouya. It works. <laughs> it, it's great. Um, so, thing, things that are wrong with Stadia. Uh, there's things that we already covered previously, like the controller doesn't work wirelessly on anything except for the uh, Chromecast Ultra. Yep. They also had basic logistic problems where people received it, but they didn't receive codes code to make it work. To actually get into and it, they were, yeah. it took a long time to come through. <laughs> but okay, now on the actual store. Uh, there's so many weird things about this launch. This launch should not have happened. They should not have called it a launch. Well, I it think, should have been publicly called a beta I, I test or something. I think they just thought they had to get it out there. I think they did. I think because it's like, it's, with Microsoft so close mm. and Sony kind of already doing this kind of yep. thing, like, I just felt like they had to jump the gun and yeah, they, they just but did it way But the way that they early. did it, they fucked it so that oh, now no. the only thing out there is negative discussion. Okay, so let's talk about a few things. First up, uh, performance. Uh, performance, if you got different connection, the actual technology, everyone, much like the test where they did Assassin's Creed, the technology works. Good. Good stuff. Now, you're paying for Pro, you're getting 4K, 60 frames a second, surround sound. No, you're not. Uh, I don't think any. I haven't seen anyone say that they've actually got surround sound. It's always been mm-hmm. stereo. Now, playing Destiny 2. <laughs> you're getting a 4K signal, mm-hmm. but the game's not running at 4K. It's upscaled. The game is running at 1080. At medium settings, oh, not even at high no. settings, and then they're upscaling it and sending it to you. Yeah, and you're paying for the service. That's, the ser- it's, that's a paid yeah. service, and it's not the yeah. free version. Like the whole idea of this thing was meant to be that this is running in the cloud yep. with a massive amount of computing power behind it, and you could get things out of it you just wouldn't get on a yeah on a console. Uh, on a console. Yeah. Destiny 2 is not a powerhouse. Oh, yeah, it, most no. computers can run that pretty well. Like, like on my PC, I get like between 90 and 140 frames. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Like just as like. Oh no. 
So, um, well, let's talk about Red Dead 2. Red Dead 2. Now, uh, do you remember the opening scene of Red Dead 2? Yes. And what is that scene? Uh, walking through the snow. At what time? Uh, that was night time. Yeah. So, can you think of something that video compression likes more than mm, black no. with specks of white in it? <laughs> Mm. So it looks like maybe, maybe grass. It looks like an anus has just been slammed in your Fast face. Yeah. Stuff. It is the, the later game starts looking fine when it's bright and stuff. Yeah. But if there's anything made to fuck up video compression, it is high contrast noise, <laughs> which is a, what snow at night time is. Yeah. No. And the game fucking starts as that. It is. It's just horrendously bad. Um. So okay. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Is that? Yeah, it's coming. Compression's hard. It's always going to be a problem. Mm-hmm. Um, and like it will get better, but it'll, mm. I don't think it can ever there's, truly there's get been, solved. There's been some good, uh, there's like a good digital foundry mm-hmm. analysis of the tech. Yep. Um, and they do point out there's many things about it that do work quite well. Yes. Um, the latency, if you're running um, like with a controller, like that's like into the, the Chromecast HD or whatever, mm-hmm. it's actually adding about 50 milliseconds. Okay. So like, like it might be on a, uh, on Xbox, you might be getting 100. Yep. With this, you might be getting 150. Okay. Like, it's a chunk, yeah, yeah, and you'll yeah. feel it, but it's not, like, 200 milliseconds yeah. no, on top. Yes. So, it, it's, it's, it's a lot. It's impressive with what, what they've done. Let's talk about Depends buying game. games. <laughs> yeah, yeah this, is where it, this is where it all falls apart. So, how do you buy a game in Stadia? Uh, you press a button and do credit card details. Mm, on one platform, that's true. So, if you want to buy a game, if you load up Stadia on your web browser, you get a list of the games you have. Yep. Nothing else. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you look, if you're playing a game, say um, uh, Destiny Two. Yeah, well, anything with microtransactions. Oh, I'm trying okay, to think of yeah. That. Um, they'll have like, oh, do you want do you, do you want to buy a hat? And you're like, oh yes, I'd like to buy a hat, please. Mm-hmm. At that point, it will give you a, basically a tiny URL mm-hmm. to put into your phone, because the only way of buying games on Stadia is via a phone. There is no store that you can go to with a web browser. There is no built into the service on the Chromecast, the thing you have to use to play it. No, only with a phone. I feel like crying. Now, remember when we first heard about the service uh-huh. and our, our <laughs> minds ran with the yes. possibilities. Wild possibilities. We're thinking <laughs> I could be watching someone streaming a game. Yep. The uh, streaming stuff was there day one and it was gone about two yeah. hours after launch and, on day one. <laughs> and so they it turned it off. Bad. Well, no, because they, okay. they didn't mean to turn it on yet. Oh, they oh, just fucked no. up. So, yeah. you know, you could be watching someone play something. Yep. And you could go, I want to play that game. Mm-hmm. And you'd hit a button in mm-hmm. YouTube mm-hmm. and it would pop up the game oh, wow. and it would say you have 30 minutes to play it. Oh, oh ooh, And yeah, you play you it for 30 right. minutes. Yeah. And then it's like, do you want to buy to keep going? Yep. And I go, yes, you're already hooked up to my credit card account. Yep. Have that button. Mm-hmm. And then I buy it and I just keep playing. Yep. Like, oh, it's wonderful oh. kind of consumer f- flow. Yes. No, that's not how it works. And uh, these things no. can still happen. They're in the they're in the the, the plan, yeah. except they've yet. launched a console with it not no. there. They they had the They failed oh, so bad. This thing, it should have just been integrated into YouTube. It should have been like they should have been part of the YouTube app yep. that I could just I could hit a button on my I could be watching YouTube on mm. whatever on my probably on Xbox on yeah. my smart <laughs> TV yep. and I could just go, Oh, I want to play it. Yep. And that's it. It's done. Mm. I've now turned my TV into a console. Yes. And they've just dropped the ball. Oh. <laughs> they, they had such a good opportunity, yeah. so well placed to do something amazing. Yeah. If, if they'd come, like, because there was always going to be the problem of this is not a service that everyone can use. Yes. There was always going to be geographical problems. And people would complain about that. And I would basically come back saying, look, it's, you know, it's not democratic in that it's for everyone, but. Th- these steps have to begin for that yeah. to change. You know, people complain about like the the ISP bandwidth limiting and stuff like that. It's like, yeah, but once the users change, that is when we can start changing those mm. rules. And we, you know, we negotiate. You know, it's not going to all happen at once. No. It's like you can't. It's like if no one was supporting VR, VR wouldn't be consistently getting better. You need to keep this stuff going. Like 3D it TVs. Get it out there. Those things were cool. <laughs> that was, that's the opposite of what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but also a good cow point of where Stadia may be going. Yeah. I, I still have like, 
I still have uh, like a feeling that Stadia will kind of be the back end of some other services. Yep. Mm. So Uplay is still planning to use it for their streaming and yep. stuff like that. And you, you know, you might get um, like Bethesda put a bunch of games on there. Mm. So maybe they'd end up partnering and doing their own service mm. through that. But I think as its own standalone thing, no. they've no. they, they got to totally re- rejuvenate. It's got such a bad yeah. word of mouth. Yeah. Like as a piece of back end tech, I'd really love it. Mm. Like if it could be, yeah, like EA Origin or something like that, and then yeah. like you know just whatever in the Premier account, you can yep. hit a button and play it. Yep. Like yeah, that'd be cool. Mm. Um, yeah. But yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, as it stands at the moment, yeah, I'm I'm a bit more interested in what XCloud's doing. Yes, yes, and, and I, I suppose when Stadia launches worldwide next year and it's free, like everyone can play Destiny Two, mm. and they'll probably have something else on there. We can at least try it, and if they've mm. sorted the shit out, maybe maybe it can get some game, ground back. But boy, the public is not on its side, mm. and oh, they're in fault. Mm. Like they fucked this up. Mm. I can't. Yeah. Like we were talking about the Ouya before. The Ouya's launch was way better than this. <laughs> um, it's just that there was no continued support. Nope. Um, anyway, so enough Stadia. Uh, some small things. Um, uh, heavily, heavily rumored in a pretty much guaranteed way that RE3 remake is happening. It's cool. Which is kind of a no-brainer. Yeah. RE2 was a fantastic yeah. remake uh, and that was just more of it, really. Cool. Um, there has been a ray tracing update announced for... And I didn't put the name here so it's a surprise. Oh, okay. Like um, Xbox. What? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> just give me the surprise. That's stupid. It's a stupid reply. <laughs> <laughs> um, a medieval. Uh, Okay. Yeah, I, I like the idea that because okay. so I, many, I mean it's gonna have pretty low like poly well, geometry, right? Like well, that's, that's not too bad. Funny. So so many of these ray tracings are like old games, like yeah. your Quake Twos and everything. It's like so let's do a modern one, and it's a modern game that's based on old Hexen yeah. and everything. It's like oh, okay, why not? It should be up for Christmas. Okay. Um, there's also been a big graphics update coming for Metal Wolf Chaos, <laughs> which it's okay. like it, it looks significantly better. Yeah, but the problem was the game. You shut up, you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what I thought was that funny, so I put it out, like, yay, now it looks almost as good as the original. And I went back, and like, yes, the original game had all these lighting effects yeah. that were not in the remake. Oh, really? And they're only just getting <laughs> yeah. back up to original Xbox mm. quality now. So I'm like, oh, that seems like a fault on their end. Yeah. Um, that's cool. Um, Hypnospace Outlaw News, um, the one of the coolest games of the year. Uh, Ooh, they yes. are adding, well, they have added mod support. Mm. And I was actually looking at what's already. Is that kind of turned it into a visual novel thing? Well, you can. You can kind of. So the mod support just lets you... Because if you don't... Hope No Space Outlaw is a fictional internet from like the 90s with all the terribleness of the 90s built into it. It sounds amazing. And it's a a computer so it can have like... you can. So the mod allows you not to just make websites on this internet but also make programs on the fake computer you're using. Mm. So you can make viruses. You can make... Like someone's made like a a pet cockroach that runs around your screen. (laughs) There's... Like there's already a bunch of little ones out, and all we of them bring are like. Back Club Penguin. So, yeah, they you could do like the inf- the structure seems to be there that you could yeah. basically do that, and also he's the thing is yep. whilst you extend content, it's also totally po- possible to put more story content yeah. in the game, mm, mm. so you can have uh, your own stories mm. built in there. Uh, yeah, which could do a visual novel style thing with it, but yeah, uh, fantastic. Um, we had a Path of Exile two announced. Yeah, in a kind of a weird way. A strange two, kind of, much kind like of Overwatch. Patch. Yeah, it is like it's not now in the, in the day of live services. You can't make a sequel anymore. No, you have to kind of yep. It's like get, 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 force it in there. Yeah. Get it in there. Everything you got is still there, and you get new stuff. Yeah. But this part is part of two. Yeah, uh, it looks very cool. This yeah, part is um, like you're going to be adding a bunch of story to because I. <coughs> I don't think they're adding new classes. I think that they're adding stories to classes. Hmm. I think it's something like that. That's I don't cool. know. I'm not really in... No. I'm not a Path of Exile person. Yeah. I just thought it was interesting in contrast to Diablo 4. And this will beat it to the punch way earlier. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think we've all figured out now that Diablo 4 ain't happening for a long time. Yes, I don't think... I would be surprised if it came in 21. Yeah. Yeah. Um, not yeah. shocked, but I would be yeah. surprised. I would say earliest I'm expecting yeah. now is 21. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, there's chicken. There's nothing else on the yeah, smaller there's, side. There's a, the big one that's right there. There's the big one at yeah. the top there. Uh, we got a announcement of the new Half Life game, mm. not so Half Life Three. Half Life Alex one point five. Yes. I'm very excited for this just because I might be able to play it. In that Source games just always gave me a headache. I can't play them for more than like half an hour at a time. I'm the same actually. Yes, yeah. I don't know what it is, but 
I'm so sad I couldn't finish Portal 2. <laughs> I have played through all of the Half-Life and Portals and all of them made me vomit. But yep. I, they were good enough that I dealt with it. Yep, I'm just not man enough to do that. <laughs> so, Well, that's all right. You don't have to be man enough. It's uh, I'm not lady enough. <laughs> there we go. That's better. I'm not Amy enough. Exactly. You're Amy just the right amount. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> 8 out of 10, Amy. So uh, Half-Life, leave. <laughs> Half-Life Alex is a complete from the ground up virtual reality yeah. experience, which has made some people mad. What? And a lot... Oh, it is ex- it is a excluding thing to require a technology that is not standard. Oh, yeah. Um, so people want to play it. And yeah. I've seen many people complain that why don't they just make a non-VR version? Yeah, I think okay. the best response to that is like, would you play a non-VR version of Beat Saber? Yeah. So, like, <laughs> this is a game... Designed yeah. from the ground so, up for VR, to change it into it would be a different game. Yeah. The control was so, just like what I wanted out of VR when I uh, first saw it. Like, I'm quite yeah. excited about that. Because Half Life Three always had the problem as a Half Life always seemed to be a vehicle for Valve to yes. push some kind of business agenda, yeah. uh, and they, they kind of like seem like they just failed with their whole episodic plan. Yeah, uh, and because that was really they thought gaming was going to go that way. It's going to be all yeah. these small chunks and yep. be episodic. It didn't, mm-hmm. uh, and then we didn't get our episode three. No, uh, and then it's like, well, when does Half Life three? Like, where does the next kind of like yes. business push come from? And everyone, because the the idea of a VR Half Life game has been the worst kept secret for like the last five to six years. Mm. But also, yeah. the thing that I think is smart about it. Um, this is a full length game. This is like, you know, this is supposed to be like putting their everything in the basket. They still didn't make it three. No. Yeah. Because I think if they had made it three, because the aforementioned niche productness of mm. VR, that would have probably made a lot of people angry mm-hmm. um, because we can't play the next thing. We can't play the next one in a series because you've changed the format of what the series is. Yeah. Yeah. But something that's technically a spin off, a yeah. side story, you can mm. do whatever you want there. It's- Half Life is it sits in a very special place in gaming. Like yeah. it, it's mm. like it's now that it's been announced. It's it immediately got me interested in buying a, a fresh headset. Yep. Uh, me I don't too. Yeah, I've had I've had a few conversations already. Yeah, yeah, and I don't know if I will. But the the thing was, to me, it feels like an important piece of gaming. Yes. Okay. Um and. Like I mean, it was the thing that got me to install Steam. It started off that yep. kind of digital revolution. Uh. And it's kind of part of me is thinking, like, is this it again? You know, like, is this like, is this the thing which is going to get all the people to you know, get a mass investment of VR, and then that's going to I kind really of push it all so. forward? It's funny because, like, I don't love the Half Life games. Like, I think they're very good, and I've completed them all. Mm. But I'm not yeah. like they're not on my top ten list yeah. or anything. Yeah. Mm. Um, but it's still like they some- announced this, and I immediately started going like. Oh, I was thinking about the quest, but yeah. will the quest be quite good enough? Oh, but how much do I really want to spend just to really play this? And I'm like debating or it's, yeah. it's coming out March next year, by the yeah. way, March 20. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it's not even that far off. I, I uh, just yeah. want more VR stuff. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, I'm, I'm very on board with VR yeah. and my yeah. sort of... Now I'm sort of debating what VRs I invest in in future. Yes. Yeah. Well, the, I mean, the nice thing about this was that, well, like, when I first heard it, I just assumed that it'd be index only. Yep. Uh, but no. No. Nope. Even, um, even uh, well, Microsoft Windows. Mixed reality. Mixed reality. Yeah. Like, even, even officially supports that. Yep. Uh, so, Which is smart. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Because, I mean, the index is, whilst a very good headset, it's even more niche than everything else. Mm. It's very expensive mm. and it's not easily available everywhere. Mm. Um but yeah, so they want to get as many people playing as possible. The actual game itself, we've just got a trailer which looks visually it, like it's just City Seventeen. Mm. We've seen this style before, but it's, but just the quality of the render looks fucking phenomenal. Yeah. It's a yeah. very good looking game. Yeah. Um, I always have this problem when someone's like demons. I mean, you get it with just demonstrating a game anyway, but VR is even more so, where the game is being performed by the person recording it. Mm-hmm. And the way that they perform, especially in VR games, is such a level of immersion that just doesn't exist in mm. the real lo- mm. in real world when someone plays it. Like there's a there's a head crab running around, and they quickly lean down and they push a paint can out of the way. Yes. I'm like no, no one's doing that. Yeah. No, no one's getting the, doing I that. I want to do that. <laughs> Yeah, but you won't. I will. No, I don't believe you. Um, but that doesn't mean it's bad. I, no. I think it's like, oh, there's something on the other side of the shelf. Not the whole shelf. <laughs> 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 ah, but that's old yeah. VR. Um, now we've got fingers. 
Uh, yeah, but yeah. that's still only dependent on the controller you yes, have. Yes, exactly. Um, I mean, because that that'll be showing the knuckles primarily, and then yep. one of the things that she has is she has like basically anti grav gloves. Yes. So it does that thing you can do in VR, and like I want that, and, sh- and just yep. suck it to your hand because actually getting over there is the hardest yes. part. Mm. Apparently, it is going to have full locomotion and teleport options, which kind of disappointed me. I kind of wish it went yeah, one or yeah, the other. Yeah, no, I, I, because I mean that's one of the big. Moving around is still one of the big problems with yes. VR. And this something like this, I'd expect them to just commit. Yeah. And yeah. go, look, this because is I, I feel this like is a, a bit diff- practice. It's a different game yeah. between full locomotion and, and teleporting. Uh, it, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Mm. We, ha- we haven't seen any long gameplay, so it's still no. hard to know exactly how the structure is. Um, it had quite a lot of humor in the trailer, which mm. I quite liked. Mm. It had um, uh, Reese, what's his, the New Zealand Is comedian. it the, the portal uh, writers are involved? Yeah, it heard could some, be. I, I heard something about, about that, that maybe. That'd be good. I might be talking to my ass. <laughs> Maybe. 100% true fact. True fact. <laughs> true fact. Dave's ass. Big fan. I like true facts. Um, <laughs> true facts about James' ass. <laughs> There's a podcast. <laughs> yeah, you and Wall just scurry off that way. Um, yeah, uh, so yeah, it, it, uh, we will see more mm. on the 12th of December, and I think we might even see something else before that. Mm. Because, um, yeah, I think it's Game Awards that we're going to show some stuff at. Christmas present. Um, yeah, yeah. And I'm excited. I think I, yeah, no. I I will have another VR solution before then. I'm thinking probably the Quest. Mm. Because also I was looking into the link is now available. Mm. So people have been testing that. And it seems to be entirely functional. It only supports NVIDIA um, chipsets. Mm. Oh, interesting. Uh, until people just put it on their radians yep. and it worked fine. Mm. <laughs> so <laughs> it's not officially... The, the beta is not officially supporting. Yep. But... It does support more yeah. than what it says. Because, yeah, yeah I, I was sort of thinking Quest was the direction I was going to go as well. Yeah. I was sort of thinking I'd wait to see if there's like okay. a second iteration of the hardware. Yeah. Um, but this might be something that pushes yeah. me. Or I'll just use the the Windows Mixed Reality thing I've got. Yeah. Or, or, I'll, I'll probably like, give that a go first. Or like we swap them around yeah. or anything. Because mm, whilst, yeah. like, I'm sure we'll go through, like, we have a lot of things we play. We don't need to be in one set, one thing the yeah. whole time. I certainly, if I get it, you can certainly borrow it for a while. Yeah. Oh, there's been so many new headsets since I've last looked mm. at it. I'm just trusting Sam to deal with this one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's one of those things like, and the Quest still solves so many things because I, I was slightly tempted by the Index, but the Index mm. is still, you know, base station tracking, yeah. which means I'd probably set up in this room, mm. which means I sort of have to transfer the room around yeah. a lot. And if I want to show it to someone, I go, well, the Quest is still most of that stuff I can run natively on the platform. Mm. And I don't need anything hooked up. And then when I need to do more powerful stuff like Half Life Alex, yep. I just plug in a single yeah, cable. Yeah, a single cable, and you. You're uh, kind which of seems right. like a, a far more friendly solution. Yeah. Um, yes. Hmm. So Half Life Alex. Yeah, it's again unexpected. Unexpected, but cool. Hmm. Okay. Um, do we want to do some smaller things, or do we want to get onto the Amy's show? The Amy <laughs> show. You, are you, re- are you oh. ready to take lead, Amy? I don't know. <laughs> do you, Do you want to talk about smaller things on the way? Yeah, I guess. Okay, uh, I finished Luigi's Mansion Three. How is it? It's a very good game. No spoilers. What what I what I love about the end of it is that so throughout the game, we, we think we mentioned before that um, on each level there's gems to find, they're hidden, they're sort of a puzzle, hmm. and the only thing really to spend on in the game, you're collecting all this money the whole time, is the location of these gems. Hmm. Doesn't tell you how to get them, just hmm. where they are. Hmm. So basically, you ignore that whole thing for the entire game. You get up to the final boss. It says like. Hey, do you want to walk through this door? It might be the point of no return. <laughs> Don't know whose voice that is. Um, and you go, oh, great, thank you. Uh, so these are all the gems I've collected on every level. Instead of just going back and scouring all 15 levels, how about I just... Actually, it's 17. Yeah, it's 17 because there's two basement levels. Uh, I'll just go back and buy all those locations now. Mm. And then I will go to those rooms and then I can work out the puzzle that mm. I missed out on. And solving the puzzles is like the best part of the yeah. game. Mm-hmm. So just at the end, it's like... And now I'll just do a bunch of fun for an extra hour. I've got everything now. And also, so the other collectible is once you've cleared a level, when you go back there, there's a hidden boo. Yep. Uh, and it sort of vibrates when you get close mm. to it and like yeah, you find it and then you suck it up. So that's also there when you go back to each level to get those final gems. So even though I didn't care about getting the boos. Yeah, it might as well. Yeah, they were just there. Yeah, it's like a little yeah. thing and there's always like they've always got a like a, a pun name and that's kind of mm. fun too. And then I just finished the game. Pretty cool ending. Mm. Mm. It's nice, simple, awesome. good thing. Luigi Mansion Three. It's one of good the video best game. Uh, Nintendo games of the year. Yep. Um, I also, I'm just going to blast through a few little things. Yep. Um, I played through the Tourist. Yes, you um, said. Tourist. Which is, uh, yeah, I think you said it was a not the best value for money proposition, no, but I think enjoyable. It was about Thirty bucks, but it took me about three and a half, four hours yeah. to clear. Um, 
you are a tourist, you go to an island, and for some reason, you very quickly stumble into an ancient temple, and you're set on a task to discover all the other ancient t- temples on all these tourist islands cool. and do it. And what it is, is kind of a fun little playground. It's a, a um, uh, very blocky, almost Minecrafty style kind world. Kind of like voxel, but, so, yeah, oh, voxel uh, art? 3D Dot Hero. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so 3D Dot Hero, that's sort of my time to it. When you're in the overworld, you've got um, full camera control. Uh, it's had a tilt shift effect on it, so you can look in the distance, but everything gets blurry mm-hmm. quite far away. Uh, it runs really well. It looks really nice. It's fun to explore, lots of characters to, to meet, um, and it's just things like you go to like their equivalent of, of uh, Ibiza, and you... Um, you got to help get the party rolling mm. and stuff like that. Also, breaking into the ancient temple there. And once you're in the temples, it becomes a little bit more isometric. You can still have some camera control, but at most, it's like a 90 degree twist. And so and then there are little puzzle dungeons uh, with a boss fight at the end, which normally can't actually hurt you. It's just like solving the puzzle. Mm. Uh, it's very forgiving. Uh, it's generally fun. There's one there's one temple which is terrible, and I will quickly explain why. Mm. you got to jump on uh, globes that are floating in the air and when you jump on them they all like reorientate now they're just a floating globe in a 3D space that you're viewing from an isometric angle no <laughs> what the fuck are yeah, you yeah, thinking yeah. game like holy <laughs> sh- there's and like it's not like there's a clear like where you're jumping marker or anything yeah. you just quit and you can, can't rotate the camera wherever you want so you're just like mm. if I line that up then the sideways will be in that direction and Oh my god! So it's like such trying a... to use a crane machine. So that one thing was the only part I said. This is fucking terrible. But luckily, the game's so short; it mustn't be the very, very long. No, I mean it still only took me five minutes to beat that yeah. bit. Mm. Um, yeah, it's very, very char- Like it's, it's just like there's a section of kid flying a quad- quadcopter. It's like let me fly it. He wants to do a quick race and like done. Mm. Just like lots of tiny mechanics. Like basically, it's a thing of mini games. Okay, that's cool. And uh, it's charming. It's fun. It's a weird little world. I was really thinking that this first temple where you've got to get four things to unlock it, and then the big- I was thinking that was going to be like the intro to the game, <laughs> and then it's like now do the final task to finish the game. I'm like, oh, <laughs> ah, mm. hi. Really thought there'd be a bit more meat to this. Mm. Like, For a 30 buck entry. Mm. Yeah. Like if it was like a $10 game, I'd just be like, yeah, go grab it. It's great mm. fun. Um, but yeah, way too much mm. for what it is. So yeah, um, wait for a sale on it. Yeah. Attractive. It's kind of like like a, a lighthearted Zelda-like in many okay. ways. Um, yeah. Mm. It's just it's just lots of stuff on it. Like there's, a, there's a photography thing you're doing throughout the game. There's a lot. Yeah. There's, just, there's a real creative lot of little quests mm. in there and like you've got to go win a soccer high score thing and oh just so much random but yeah it all sort of fits thematically and like finding all the secrets was satisfying yeah. and not not too hard just like mm. a casual fun tourist thing and it was, it was sort of, yeah and it leads itself onto a sequel I'm, and I was really really hoping that when they were saying that it, it would actually just go to the same it would just game. start yeah. tourist 2 in the <laughs> same package because that that would have made it worth it if there were two games of that size yeah. it would have been like you got me <laughs> but um no it yeah. is not um, okay, then very quickly, Strange Telephone, which has been on PC for a while, came out on Switch. Game's too weird for me, probably. Really? Oh, too weird for Paul. So um, I've got to give it some more time. But Strange Telephone is you're a girl and you've got a strange telephone mm-hmm. and you're in a side scrolly world mm-hmm. and you can open up the telephone mm-hmm. and you can dial a number mm-hmm. and then you call and you get transported to another world based on that number. Cool. Uh, it's a six digit number. Huh? Uh, and there might be some stuff there. Maybe there's like a, flu- a, a ghost and some ducks walking around. And if you walk left or right, you'll go to the number either one up or one down on the telephone. And the longer you spend out, the world starts to corrupt. <laughs> okay. And you've got to um, get out. Just, okay. That's... And there's a little phone book there. So it starts giving you a number. It's like probably a good idea to call this number first. Yeah. That leads you to one person, then another. You can start following some breadcrumb trails and picking up items that you can use. Pick up a watering can so mm-hmm. you can go water the eyeballs. Mm-hmm. Something like that. Okay. Mm-hmm. And it's just one of the early things you get um, from that first level part is it'll give you, when you dial in a number, it'll show you the symbols of the objects that are in that area. Mm-hmm. So you end up just like going like, nah, I've seen those things before. <laughs> change the number, yeah. change the number, change the number. It's like, oh, question marks, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> so it's this weird poking at this strange, randomly generated multiverse. Uh, it's real weird. And it's, as I say, maybe a little too weird because str- like, it's easy enough to start, mm. but then if you lose that train... Mm-hmm. So like you go like, off, the bre- off the trail. It's like, oh, well, yeah. 
Which, because it's not just even like zero, uh, zero to nine. Hmm. There's also, you can use star as well. <laughs> so it's like, well, there's a good few million possibilities mm. around. And obviously they're just generated. They haven't handcrafted each of mm. these areas, but yeah, it's hmm. a strange investigation. Strange telephone. I will spend some more time on it. I like it. How okay. Much? Um, I think it was like 12 bucks or mm. something. Maybe even less. It's a small game. Yeah. It's, a, it's kind of, it's a pixel art style, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, um, I, that's what I was imagining. It, I thought that's it was good. quite, um, charming. I like the sound of it. That sounds fun. Okay. Cool. Let's talk about the Pokemon. Pokemans. Okay. You're up, Amy. Pokemans UK edition. <laughs> um, there's lots of dogs. Let's, we need, we need to talk about Dexit. No, we're not. I really don't <laughs> oh, care should, about I'll it. I'll play devil's advocate. <laughs> but I said I don't you know, really care about it. This series has perpetuated itself on the slogan, gotta catch them all. How the fuck do I catch them all if only 45% of those fucking Pokemon are in the game? Lazy dicks. <laughs> <laughs> I, I took that a bit too far. I do actually understand that as yeah. an argument, but I also think it's unreal because they've got about a, close to a thousand Pokemon all up now. Yeah, mm-hmm. now, yeah. And they, yeah, yeah, I, I do think half. it is unreasonable to expect that to be always supported mm. but i also understand the yeah. legacy that has made people yes. expect that. yeah especially when you saw the list and it's yep. very <laughs> arbitrary and especially it, since like it's mostly first gen that came back and they're the ones that are people are gonna have the favorites in yeah so yes. there's like no abra no exactly oh, no ekans i'm pretty there, sure abra's those gone there's a Okay. Uh, no Ekans. No Ekans. But that's snakes spelled backwards. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, Coughing's uh, still there. I was happy that Coughing's there because yes. he's my favourite. He's so cool when he evolves. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He is. I thought Abra was your favourite. Uh, no, I changed to Coughing. Coughing's I my changed my favourite. Well. That's not how favourites work. No, no, this one did. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. Coughing's, Cough- Coughing's great. What's Coughing's your favourite favourites? Greatest face. Uh, Abra. No. <laughs> that's not. That's not a. Co- that's look, not Cadbury's co- favourite. Coughing, coughing became my, my spirit Pokemon. When, yeah. like, I realized that, like, he is, he's a Pokemon who is, like, his ugliest Pokemon. Aww. and But he, he's, like, he gives so few fucks yeah, he's that he's so got a big... A big happy. But here's, here's the bit. Yeah. When you evolve him, yeah. the weight of the world crushes his soul. And, like, he looks miserable. Yes. So it's, like... Yes. Young... It's just, like, growing up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Exactly. It's, like, it is... It's, it's just, like... It's just this capture of youth, yeah, yeah. youth innocence, oh, with I the know. reality I never of. I thought about that. The rea- I just think he's adorable. He's just yeah. got his little smiley face, his little purple I love, thing. I love coughing. I've got a little plushie. It's great. <laughs> Mine's a Turkish delight. That's not a Pokemon. I just asked it your was favorite. Still like favorite. Last I spoke to <laughs> oh, no, actually, I do. I'll and probably say the same. Turkish tonight. delight. I saw I saw some like mocking. Sorry, I I, I didn't actually hear that because I was too focused on chocolates. <laughs> yeah. chocolate I, I saw an article which was about how like everyone throws out the Turkish delight. No, I'm what? like, fuck you. They're the one. Tur- tur- I got a. That's favorite. the first thing I go for. Of like, I'm, I'm, they, exactly. they disappear I'm, the fastest. I'm digging for that and, Turkish unless delight. Unless there's cherry ripes. Cherry ripes can suck. No, nah, they're tiny they're a close second. Balls. Okay, but oh, I, ch- cherry ripes are straight up like the last. Nah, no, nah, no, they're good. I like my cherry nah. ripes, especially when they're double coated. Oh yeah. yeah. You put them in the fridge. Yeah. It's good when you crack. get the one which has got the little bit of chunk of cherry in there, so yes. it's not all the coconut. Yes. You like you luck out with a little nugget of. of yes. yeah. You know that's just flavored artichoke. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious artichoke. Yeah, it's yeah. pink. <laughs> it's um, anyway, so Pokemon. Back you were saying, Pokemon. Amy? Pokemon uh, UK. Um, I need some prompts. Uh, a- Amy hasn't done a lot of on-show talking for a while. No, I'm so, like, sort of. Well, even then, I was terrible. <laughs> so, um, this game. Uh, Allows you to cook curry. Yes, curry which decks. means we replaced all those Pokemon <laughs> with curry decks. It's, pr- it's pretty good. Um, so, so Pokemon and game. Boiled eggs are very expensive. How much like a normal Pokemon game is this Pokemon game? It's a Pokemon game, but it feels more open. So, I, I think one of the things that I've liked about it, mm. in, like, because this is a, a, a series is notorious for not changing. No, exactly. Um, and they have made a few things in here to change that I like. One yes. of the nice additions I like now is that you can see all the Pokemon. Yes, I love that. Uh, and I like that I don't have to worry about a repel. No. I can just Walk around. run around them. Yes. Uh, Occasionally there's a little, like, exclamation points in the grass. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like there's still have a fair bit of agency of, like, yeah. you can kind of scoot out when I see the little exclamation yeah. mark. Uh, and I, I like that. Yeah. Um, but I also think... It highlights part of the problem, which is that a lot of the time I can't be bothered fighting yes. because I've done it 
a million times. A million times. Yeah. And it's still all and kind of the there's same. there's all sort of the same monsters in the same patch of grass kind of thing yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I, I can't really fault the game for it because no. that's what Pokemon is. Yes. You like, you Come know. on, give it a shot. Uh, no, I can fault it because I've had uh-huh. so much time to try and improve this and they just haven't. No. Uh, well, but that's ex- just Game Freak. Though. Yeah. Well, it would have been nice if, like, like playing Dragon Quest. Yep. Um, I the, have been to try those games out. Like the, the, more, the recent one. What is it? 11. Um, uh, yeah, okay. Where, like, that game does a, does a fantastic job at being, like, staying to an old genre. Yep, so yep. it's like, I'm going to be a classic JRPG yep. with basically random encounters, you know, turn-based encounters. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to feel like an old RPG, mm-hmm. but brings in all this quality of life. Yes, kind of like how Bravely Default works. Yeah, so it's like it's not a problem. No. So it's like, yeah. like, like, like Dragon Quest Eleven. If I want to just you know go level up, yep. I can just basically go on auto, please, because a lot of the time I'm just doing the same thing, and I'm just going to walk around and mm. just get level up. Yep. Uh, and it doesn't feel, and I can go, I can speed it up. I can go, hey, combat, go at like four times speed. Yep. Because that's, I, yeah, I, I don't want to watch it. Um, and, and none of these things have made their way no, into Pokemon. So I think it, it's possible for a game to be, you know, respectful same, of like its classic roots. Yes. But just bring in some quality of life. Like just, yeah. just some. Just let, yeah. me, let, me, let me hold down a button to fast forward the attacks. Yes. Like just, I, just give me that. Give me that. The older ones, there was a way to turn off the animations, but you don't really want. Yeah, I seem to recall that. And also, some of the animations in this, they forgot to put in the game, so that must be. <laughs> I think you can speed up the text. Yes. Which does make yep. the whole thing go faster, which I need yeah. to go in and do when I found that yeah. out. Um, but when I'm just grinding, it's just a bit of a pain. But yeah. That's just, I guess, my yeah. problem with yeah. JRPGs in general. Mm. Um, yeah. Uh, yes, I love the way you can. Yeah see them run around and all that yeah um, i love the wild area i've been spending a lot of hours because i haven't got up to that yet oh okay i like that's I, sort of like right what, at the beginning. yeah when i said i've played very little of this in the chat you meant i it. literally meant it like i so <laughs> i've only commented my, my whole review of this game is up just until the Pokemon areas. Uh, yeah, yeah just like the yep. first like half an hour yep if that so and I've played so little. I'm currently checking what that last top game. I didn't remember what oh, yeah. so was. Yeah, so whatever. Can, we've yeah. we've just sort of gotten used to this. Yeah. <laughs> I am a rude man. Yeah. <laughs> nah, whatever. Just research. You have, you've yeah. got nothing to add to it. <laughs> so <laughs> I hear other people complain. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, I Mm-mm. I've been I've been liking the visuals. I yes. think like it looks nice. Yeah. Um, I I kept kept trying to rotate the camera when like walking through some yes, of the, the city areas. Well. I'm like. Like, can't. Yeah, it's on a fixed rail. Yeah, it's on a fixed it? rail. Yeah. Like, oh, but but you're, the you're, wild area, you can. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I expect to get out there. You what can. performance are you getting in the wild area? Uh, pretty good. Uh, one or two stutters when it's like raining or hailing. Mm. Um, it's like the particles coming down everywhere, that kind of thing. But otherwise, yeah, pretty good. No, uh, barely any stutters. Like, it's just that. So what I'm hearing is stutters. <laughs> barely yeah. any. But it doesn't really matter. <laughs> no, I, it's I, not enough. It's a to... high performance game. It's... You got to get those. You got to the invincibility frames. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is a bit. Dis... It's, it's not enough to annoy me. Well, it is a bit kind of like disappointing that you look at the performance of uh, yeah, Mario um, Odyssey. Yeah, lo- yeah, you exactly. know, and like it runs pretty good. It's no, a big open world. There's a lot going on. Um, why isn't Pokemon running that exactly. well? Because it's not a terrible amount yeah, going and on. They're all just models they've sort of brought over from the 3ds as well, pretty much. I assumed a bunch of them would have come from Go. Oh, that too. Yeah. They're all they're still from the yeah. 3ds. They, I think they did them as like quality of life type thing. Mm. Um, way back when they made X and Y. Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty sure they at least just on the straight up models. They just yeah. basically modeled them at. Do it. Yeah. I mean, at what, them when they need at what to. you I mean, downscale would them, sorry. model them at because they're pretty simple designs on yeah. the whole. And yeah. The amount of detail you would mm. ever need, really, yeah. and then everything mm. else is just textures. Mm. But. Yeah, I've been having a lot of fun just <coughs> exploring. I've mm. um, not looked up anything regarding this game. I've sort of treating I'm treating it as if like I'm coming in as a new player. Mm. Um, I've like some of the, the new Pokemon are pretty cool. I um, what was it? Oh, I don't even want to spoil it for you. <laughs> I went with so- Sobble. Sobble's adorable. That's the one I picked. Yeah, same. Yeah. I love him. Uh, the other two are just kind of dumb feeling. I think Grookey's kind of cool, but. The, the bunny's stupid. Don't go for the bunny. <laughs> what, what's the... I got the grass one. Yeah, that one. That one's kind of cool. It's yeah. not as cool as uh, Sobble. Sobble's a pussy. 
No. <laughs> He turns edgy in his second one. <laughs> I heard he does. Oh, does he? Oh, yes. well, that yeah. does excite me. He's, he's got the good old... Yeah, gets a bit of an, yeah, a bit of an yeah. edgelord. Uh, have you Rinch. done any of the multiplayer stuff? Um, That's sort of in the wild era. I haven't seen anyone. Like, um, I saw Sam playing it um, the day after it came out, and there was a few people running it around, but I haven't seen anyone. Okay. There's, um, I've seen little stamps pop up. It's like, oh, we want to trade. Oh, we're going to do a max raid battle together, which mm. is the giant Pokemon... Mm. Uh, raid battles um and yeah i just haven't seen anyone which is kind of surprising i, I, I assume a bunch to... of people are playing it yeah exactly because it's it's no i don't think it's been particularly yeah. successful <laughs> <laughs> well oh. six million copies in three days yeah exactly Jesus. i was just really surprised yeah. to not see anyone yeah. maybe they've all just sort of moved on in the game and it's sort of game Maybe. Uh, game state locked, I guess. i got to say, with 6 million people, I'm pretty sure there'd be... Oh, I know, I know. Or it could be server issues. Maybe. Which I wouldn't put past I was Nintendo. having a problem with them doing maintenance yeah. the other night, but otherwise, mm. no. I was just very surprised. Yeah, because that um, multiplayer stuff interests me. Because that is yes. something which Pokemon hasn't really... Like that kind of open world stuff, but actually using it yeah. to have kind of world events yeah, and the, things like um, that. The little campsites are pretty cool because you can set up your tent, make your curry, have your Pokemon run around. And you just sort of play with them, little toys, the teaser tail thing, play with a cat, um, like a cat-style teaser toy, mm. um, a rubber ball which they go and chase, which is pretty adorable. Um, but yeah. It's... Can I be in can one you? town, get a request... To take a Pokemon to another town <laughs> and deliver that Pokemon. Um, you can deliver yourself to another town right. and go That's into a... the next challenge. If... It's close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um... You're pathetic. <laughs> He's trying his best. <laughs> I'm just thinking about playing Death Stranding right yeah, now. Yeah, that I, game I, gets into my head so I hard. I wouldn't mind getting into it, but yeah. I need to go one game at a time. I'm, I'm planning to get uh, James a copy of Euro Truck Simulator for Christmas. <laughs> yes, and I'll, I'll probably love the shit out oh, of yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, have you yeah. played? Uh, was it Desert Bus or something? Desert Bus. That's not cool. I it's, what, it's not, no, 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 no. I need. I need you to need, have you a. Have an end goal. Yeah, well, I need to get there. Yes. Uh, I mean, you can get there in Desert Bus. You just get the one point, and then you got to turn around and go back. Yeah. Yeah, I had an idea for a game which was like a social, like a desert bus MMO, uh-huh. uh, where you'd be on a bus mm. and other players could jump on the bus and ride with you in the bus. That's cool. And there always needs to be at least one player to drive the bus at any given time. Mm. Yep. And that's otherwise the, only the, way, otherwise like the, the boss the bus just stops Aww. and they lose. So it's like someone would be driving it, but mm. then if that person leaves, they got to take over. Yep. But then hopefully someone else joins and yep. then that person can leave. <laughs> and then you. That's, uh, oh no, I can't. I can't stop this bus. I need to go to work tomorrow, and it's three a.m. Yeah. yeah. Basically, I want to be Desmond from Lost. <laughs> <coughs> that's a fantasy that is um, very unique. Yeah. I've been. Uh, I mean, really... I bet you could do that in VR chat. Just, just oh, so have, have like a Lost Desmond simulator. Yeah, yeah. Someone's going to take this did, over. Did you ever uh, ever watch Lost? No. It was, was like, I remember Dad watching it when I was really small, but uh, otherwise there was, no. But basically, there's this one character who had to enter in like these this, the six numbers, wasn't it? Like every hour? Something like something that. Something like every oh. hour or something bad would happen. Oh, okay. But he doesn't know what. Oh. All he knows oh. is that he must... Punch in these yep. numbers with regularity, kind of like or something Kimmy bad Schmidt, will happen. Uh, they had to turn the the crank. Oh, the crank. <laughs> yes, that's what it was. Uh, or else something bad had happened. Who's, who's on crank duty? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of uh, of uh, Lost, Watchmen. Uh, is it, I haven't watched episode three yet. So good. Well, I seen you, any of it. it's episode up to episode six, motherfucker. Really? So you are oh, I might well ca- behind. I might catch up tomorrow because I won't have Death Stranding to play because I've given it to Paul. Exactly. <laughs> Gotta watch some Watchmen. Yeah, I'll do that. You could probably just go buy the digital version of Death Stranding. No, no, it's all right. I can, I can wait. <laughs> I can actually. I'll That's be doing. I mean, he can't really. I'll be doing for realsy walking in New Zealand. What? Like, I'll be, I'll be taking all my. The, will the tra- you have a the training? In the back? Yes, um, quite Ooh. possibly. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's okay. face it. Gerald would have to carry you. <laughs> the other one is corpsey. Yeah. Oh, but would she? Would she just say, "Oh, this is inefficient. I'll just hmm. send. I'll just. I'll go, and then they'll send something for you." Oh, hmm. probably. But she does get distracted on the way. <laughs> She's just sitting down playing the gotcha game for yeah. a while. I'm just recharging just go, my batteries. Look, just, go yeah. do, just go do a dailies in Food Fantasy. Yes. Exactly. 
pro- always do your dailies. <laughs> okay, uh, so Pokemon wise, yeah. where, where are we at the conversation currently? I do not remember. I was um, about to complain about um, how easy it is, I guess. I've been meaning to go back and play some of the older ones to sort of see if I was just a dumb kid or if they actually were mm. harder. Because um, I remember with my first one was uh, Pearl. I remember just having a lot of trouble in some of the gyms there. Mm. But in this one, I'm just sort of easily one-shotting most of the Pokemon. I mean, from from my limited understanding and hearing other things, one of the big changes is just like, it's the always on... Um, XP share, order, which is share, XP good. Share, which I is like that. Good as a game thing. It from having to grind. But it also means that like everyone's sort of all powered up mm. in yeah. the team all the time. But even then, I'm not going out to grind all the time so yeah. i'm pretty sure i'm under leveled most of, like i'm pretty much on on level with everyone but it's just i don't know yeah i hear the gyms are, are quite easy and there's yeah. just you run into random people that are much harder than the gyms yes it's like yeah it, would you say it's more or less fun than pokemon let's go um i didn't actually play much of that uh, i own it but i just yeah um maybe compared to uh what was sun and moon um I enjoy, I'm enjoying it a lot more than Sun and Moon. Okay. Yeah, it just feels more... It might be just because it's on a bigger screen. Mm. It, just, it just feels more open. Um, the wild area definitely helps, even though it feels quite empty when I don't get anyone. Um, yeah. And that curry is delicious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've been making some really good curry, apparently. I Oil eggs are very expensive. I give it. Okay. Po- yeah, you can um, find all these different ingredients. You buy ingredients. Are there any Pokemon flavored? Like, is there a Magikarp curry? Is Magikarp still in there? Yes. Okay. You can also catch Gyarados. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that's been my problem with catching Pokemon. I've started just sort of leaning towards ones I've evolved before, mm. not taking the risk with the new ones. Yeah. Like, will this evolve? But I guess that's just me. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Pokemon cowards. <laughs> Probably, yeah. I don't know. I need to, you need to play some more. Oh, I, I will. To, I want to I, hear what you think. I've been holding off. I, I think I might give it a shot. I've been holding off a bit till, go for uh, till it. I go over. <laughs> that was a funny joke. <laughs> yeah, till I go overseas. Yeah. So it's, it's like a holiday game. Yes. Um, because I feel like it'd yeah, be a good one to just kind of chip away at while. Yeah, exactly. It's it's good enough to chip away. Yeah. I just like sitting there. And like, I'm trying to relax at night. Play, put out my pro, uh, pro controller. Sounds like a perfect time for Death Stranding. Oh god, no! I I've learned. I do not start playing Death Stranding after about nine thirty <laughs> because I'm not going to bed till one. That's what's happening. <laughs> oh no! Because it's going to be like ah. Oh, because Cheryl will be like, "Hey, do you want to play Death Stranding?" Because she wants to watch me play it. Oh no! And I'll be like, ah, oh, I don't know. I don't know if this is a good yep, idea. Yep. Uh, you can play it. Uh, all right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then uh, uh, look at that. It's twelve thirty. <laughs> I'll just finish off this delivery. That'll take me twenty minutes. Yep. Nothing okay. turned Cheryl on more than watching James waste his time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You've achieved so little time. Oh, so little. <sighs> Both virtually and in real you life. You know, it's actually... <laughs> it's one, one of the things that motivates me to learn Spanish uh-huh. is I think back to the hours I've played in Destiny 2. Uh-huh. And I think of that... I think close to like 300, 350 yep. hours I've probably put in collectively to Destiny 1 and 2 and think, how could I have bettered myself? That is a good idea. <laughs> with, with that time. I should, yeah, and I so should probably. Every morning I was, like a, I was like, you know what? I can put 20 minutes yeah. into learning Spanish. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And yeah, that, I mean, that kind of motivates me. I need to take up Japanese again. Yeah. Like, I can still understand. It's just I need to learn more words. Mm. I can yeah. I, I want to get proper lessons like actual like yeah, tutor lessons yeah. at yep. some point i think because right now I'm, i just hit the 150 day mark oh nice um and i probably yep. do on average about an hour a day maybe yeah, yeah, half yeah. an hour to an hour depending because mm. like i'll listen on a bike like the stuff and i'll, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. use duolingo but i think if i get to like six months at that point like all right I probably yeah should, go to yeah, talk to yeah actual actually talk to native person. speakers because yeah. yeah there's only so okay. much I could, I could try so you and can jump on someone. Gumtree or something. Yeah, I don't one know. of my best friends is Spanish. I could probably oh, yeah. help with some people. Yeah. Took <laughs> me up with some Spanish people. Yes. <laughs> Particularly a Latin American. Okay. Sort of no, like, uh, I want, I want, I want from, some. Uh, some sp- oh, not that. Yes, that. <laughs> Spanish. Spanish. Like, yeah. Latin American Spanish is what I want. Okay. Like. Yes. No. Hey, so Paul. that game is Pokemon. <laughs> <Cross> <laughs> <and> <laughs> Pokemon UK. Yes. I like a little, a little conversation there. That was good. Sword and Pokemon UK. I couldn't understand because you were both speaking multi languages. <laughs> <laughs> very impressive. Yeah. Yes. C. We we try. <laughs> we we. Q. <laughs> okay. Is it pronounced Q? No. <laughs> it's K. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was quack. <laughs> no. 
Okay. Dun 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 dun. It's the Star Wars <laughs> hour. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it is. It is the most Indiana Jones of. Uh, it is the most Indiana Jones, <laughs> Jones of Star Wars. Wars. So uh, we have Star Wars colon Jedi colon for. How cool has order. Mandalorian been? Mandalorian's been very cool yeah, so far. Yeah, I've been having a great time yeah. with Mandalorian. Yes. Like it's nice and simple. It's my favorite Saturday treat. I mm. go over to Sam's. I watch it. It's mm. So good. So this new game by Respawn. 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 He's a third person Uncharted like, Metroid Prime like, Dark Souls like. Yep. Okay. It's doing a few things. Mm-hmm. Um, and it is very good at all those things, but perfect at none of them. <laughs> um, That's fair. It is a jack of all traits. And it is also a game that you will encounter some polish issues with. Mm-hmm. Uh, you will encounter issues with stuttering. Mm-hmm. Uh, you will encounter strange ones. Like one of my favorite was in one of the early cutscenes, you talk, there's a hologram talking to you. And before the cam, the virtual camera would cut to another angle, about half a second between before each cut, the hologram's head would disappear. Awesome. Oh, now it did not affect the game in any way. The game was, is incredibly playerful. Wow, okay. But there's just those edges of like yeah. maybe this should have baked a little bit longer. Mm-hmm. No, nothing has stopped me enjoying it. Just it could be a smoother experience. Mm. Um, so this game you're playing. Um, I mean, do we say what the character is? No, oh, let's not. You, you are at least a Force-sensitive character. You'll find out the exact nature of their role as the game continues. Mm. Um, basically, in hiding at the beginning of the game, you're on a scrap planet. Uh, and the intro is fucking cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It I... is really well put together. Mm-hmm. Is, is, is is visually impressive. It is... Um, is there text scrolling? No, they didn't do a text uh... scroll. I don't think there's any text no, scroll. They didn't no, they didn't, actually. Um, I'm out. I mean, most non-numbered yeah, Star Wars non- don't no, do yeah. a text yeah, scroll. Not mainline Star um, Uh... It's it's like it has the whole uncharted climbing around the environment. That's one of the things that I, I didn't like about the intro. You're going on such a weird path through this broken down shit. I'm like I've got no idea where I'm navigating to. I'm just following the yellow. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks, Uncharted. <laughs> That's the Uncharted trick. Just yeah. follow yellow. Um, eventually, you get lightsaber uh, and you get into combat. I think the I really enjoy the combat. Stormtroopers are pretty much a one hit one kill. Yeah, it's a nice like uh, parry thing or yep. like a. Rebound button, if you time it right. And the game's very big on parrying. Um, so yeah, if someone blasts at you, you can just deflect yeah. a shot and kill them. Uh, the difference in the difficulties is par- primarily how big the parry window is. So I kind of, unless you're really, really after challenging yourself, leave it on normal and mm. it's pretty well, goddamn I think it de- generous. I think it defaults to easy. I think it's just called normal. Yeah. And below that's a setting called story. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, unless you just really want to like challenge your timing. I find it just as satisfying mm. that just things hit you harder and the timing window is smaller. Mm. Mm. I kind of like that they exposed that as well. They said, yeah. this is what the difference between... Yeah, it's a nice little is. graph of like... Oh, it's okay. like, yeah, <laughs> you, they have more health, you take more damage, yep. parry window. And it's okay. like, you just decide. Yeah, uh, okay, it's that's nice. cool. Nice touch. Yeah, um, and parrying is definitely your way to victory with most enemies in it. Mm. Uh, so yeah, you have this quite linear intro, you get introduced to the characters, and I inst- like out of all of the trailers... I don't give a shit about the main character. I like the main character about one minute into this game. <laughs> uh, it's like, oh, he's actually got a pretty good personality. I'm bored with him. Yay. Uh, bit of a loner. Bit of, you know, he's got, he's got his past. Mm-hmm. Like, he's competent, mm-hmm. but not overpowered or anything. Yeah, it's cool. And then mm-hmm. other people come in. Um, and after that point, uh, you go to one planet where you're sort of starting off the story. And after that point, the game opens up and you can go, you can choose what planets you want to go to. Uh, it has a Metroidvania structure where you, know, you get new abilities. You can open up. You'll be going backtracking to planets. You yeah, it's explore- got a nice map where it'll, like it'll tell you when you can't do it yet, like the yeah. the parts. So it's, you- it's it's basically Metroid Prime's map. Yeah, uh, but yes, also very clear on like you can access this path. You cannot access this path mm. yet, so don't bother trying. Okay, that's cool. Um, yeah, it's very readable. Uh, and yeah, and the the levels are very much in that Dark Souls style of having lots of interconnected shortcuts. Yeah, so you go, you get the shortcuts, you can get yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, beyond that, you get a little robot very early. <gasps> in the that game. robot is super cute. Droids. Maybe the best droid. Mm-hmm. Like, it's at your back. Yep, he, he scutters around. And so, okay, so here's here's things where Actually, I love that he's like he's also your like grapple as you. Oh yeah, like, if you're doing a zip line, he <laughs> jumps on top of you. He's a little on. robot. That's so adorable. part of the design of this game and why it has many brilliant things. The droid is a wonderful thing. One, it's a cute companion mm-hmm. that's with you. Okay, that's just nice. Mm. Uh, he also. When you look at the map, he literally projects the map in Star Wars awesome. hologram style. Yep. So, like, there's an in-game reason why there's a map and why these mm-hmm. things are going out. That's cool too. Also, if they want to draw your attention to something, they can have this character run over to it. Yeah. Mm. 
Aww. So it's a good way of leading the player in a natural way without overly for and not having to make everything yellow, um, which they don't do. Yellow is sometimes used, but it's not. I mean, Uncharted was literally. I don't know what I'm doing next. Look for the yellow. Yeah. Oh, I can yeah. see the yellow top. Yeah. This like, game is much going. much yeah. looser than that, which mm-hmm. is nice. Um, and not that Uncharted is bad for that, but it did become very rote. It's like I don't even have to think. I just run towards the yellow mm-hmm. and hit jump. Um, I actually find that one of the things that's interesting is that if you're ju- going, jumping towards like vines or something, you have to push the grab button. Yeah, Ooh. that took me a little bit to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Which is like... Oh, just... Well, that, that confused me a bit because then I thought I had to hold onto it. Yeah, you But you don't. You, don't. Yeah. you can actually release it once you grab. It's, yeah. it's, it's one you got to hit it once and then... It's yeah. just like, it's, it's just a slightly unique thing. And I, I like that I have to grab. It makes it more physical yeah. when I'm getting there. But you're, just, you're so used to it being yeah. automatic. Um, I fell and... off a lot of things early on in that game. <laughs> It's um yeah, yeah it's quite like a, a looser style of mm. grappling like it it will let you jump when the jump isn't guaranteed mm. uh, unlike some other games yeah um yeah and I think I was gonna say something else about the robot but anyway the robot also like when you um <coughs> so it has Atlas Flask as because it's the Dark Souls yeah so then it's got um, the, so you go if you go to the bonfires and yeah. it resets the world so and, it's like healing crystals or something yeah but what I love is you push the button for it it goes like Hey, I need a heal. And then it just like does the like eject thing that the droids tend to do in Star Wars. So it literally just shoots it towards you and you grab it and you use it. That's awesome. Which just feel like you don't need that. You could just go yeah. the crystal, but it's cute. Yes. And, like the whole thing, uh, thematically, everything works together. Um, combat, I enjoy. Mm. Oh, also, the other thing is, so it has retro prime scanning. Mm. So you get a new enemy, you can mm. scan it, but you just hit a scan button and the droid will scan it and you can keep doing other stuff. Mm. Mm. So whilst you still have the hang around time thing, yep. you don't have to just stay looking at something okay. for 10 seconds. Scale. It'll do it on its own time. Uh, and then it fills out a law book and you can mm. read that and that's all cool. Yay. So yeah, it's like self-directed to the ability, to the fact that you can find things way earlier than you need to in the story. Mm. You can also totally miss things that are mm. almost mandatory, uh, which I kind of like games that give you that little flexibility to fuck up. Uh, but I haven't had anything that's mm. bad so far. Just, you know, sometimes I missed a thing. Mm. Um, I'm not super deep into the game. I'm on like the third planet and I just, it was the first time I died actually and I just got like stabbed by a bug. I'm like, yeah. fucking nice. bug. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just a very impressive yeah. package. I have i didn't have it grab me straight away. Uh-huh. Well, actually, no, no. I did have it grab me straight away yeah. because the intro is fantastic. It's very good intro. Um, and then I got to the, it opened up. Now I actually started playing the game on the, I'm going to call it the Dark Souls difficulty, yep. which is just like, there's the normal and then there's the one down one where, it all, where it all yeah. balances out. And I thought, I'm going to try that one. <laughs> um, and I got into my first fight and I died and <laughs> I went story mode, please. Yep. Um, because I am not here for that game. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and this was actually, I think part of the problem I had with it, that when I play a Star Wars game, I actually want a linear experience. Like mm. I, I want, and this, this is not me sliding the game either. No? This is just a, what, you want, what yeah. I want in the Star Wars game. But what about uh, Yoda stories? <laughs> yeah, that's the exception, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I kind of, I think that the reason it didn't really grab me so much is I jumped into it and it set me up with the game I wanted, mm. which was this very linear intro. Yep. And then it kind of opened and I just saw, oh, oh, it's, it's being a Souls-like and it's being a Metroid. Mm. It's, it's going to be big. And generally, when I play these kind of story Star Wars games, it's like I want about eight hours, mm-hmm. and I'm done. Yep. I think it's about a fifteen hour. Game. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's still not too long. Um, but I think it was like, uh, yeah, well, I need to go back and play it now with the difficulty scope turned back because this is what I do with Uncharted games yeah. as well. Like whenever playing an Uncharted game, I'm like, oh. Uncharted game, I am not here for your shitty combat. <laughs> like I'm here yeah. for your blockbuster. Turn it down. Yeah. I want to be able to run around and just gun things. Yeah, like I don't yeah. care about that. Yeah. Um, and I think if, if I can just turn down the story mode and basically just ignore all the soulsiness of it and just treat it like basically Prince of Persia where I'm just jumping through environments to get somewhere and then getting story, I'll probably really enjoy it. Um, but I think it totally accommodates that place. Yeah. Style. Yeah. Uh, but I think like at the moment it's like, you know, Death Stranding and mm-hmm. Pokemon and all this other stuff. Yeah. It's, um, it's sort of at a bit of a bad time. Um, but I like that it's on, uh, origin access cause you can drop 20 bucks and nice. don't have to buy the full thing cool. except if you put it off then it's going to cost you 40 bucks yeah unfortunately <laughs> i put it off so it's going to cost me 40 bucks um <laughs> but i think eventually i'll yeah i'll go back to it yep, and yep. yeah because yeah, it looks good like it's it's it looks very solid and maybe by that point that the these glitches and things yeah, will yeah, be kind of ironed out a little bit yeah mm. yeah because there's already been some relatively solid patches yeah. put out I, i'm really hoping because i mean rocks um respawn did an amazing job with um 
uh, Titanfall, Titanfall 2 mm. um, with some really creative levels. So I'm kind of hoping that mm. this has something in that. Something, thing. yeah. Like, you know, I hit a planet and like, oh, this planet's doing something cool and unique. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm hoping. Mm. Yeah. yeah, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. I think it's uh, a very good showing for a company that previously has only made first person games. Mm. Mm. It's a very good foray into the third person action and the best Star Wars game we've had in a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Exciting. Yes, Jedi Fallen Order. And it's got no microtransactions or anything. It's just a single player game. Just a game. The, the yeah. only thing that's in, you can collect lightsaber parts to make your lightsaber pretty if you care. Mm. I and changed my color. Ooh, yeah. what color? Uh, I think I went green. I think, I think I'm orange. Oh, no, I did. I went orange. Yeah, I went orange blade. Orange, you're glad I didn't see banana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think you can be a Mace Windu? No, I just I like I think you're a Mace purple. Wind don't. Yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. I just like the color purple. <laughs> that is a good I movie. I don't remember any of the prequel <laughs> stuff. I I know I've seen the prequels. I just don't remember anything <laughs> about them. But have you seen the color purple? <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> I know what purple looks like. No. <laughs> no. It's it's no. Don't. It's probably some sort of indie film. No. Ah. No, no, I think it won an Oscar. <laughs> Um, I'm pretty sure it might have won a few, actually. Damn it, I'm wrong. <laughs> it's, it's pretty, I'm wrong. pretty big. Let's find out how many awards. Like that is now the Color of Purple podcast. Yeah. It's been a long time. Mm. The Color Purple. I love that the Color Purple doesn't exist, apparently. <laughs> in. As in, like, there's no light that is purple. Uh, like, there's violet. Maybe? No, like, it's like there's no wavelength. That is like same with, same with pink. Oh, it didn't actually get an Oscar. It was just nominated for I think for a like bunch. pink doesn't Sorry. exist as a color, as in the, in the light sense of the term. Whereas like wavelength, it's mm, it's your okay. eye receiving multiple colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's I like purple was just well. No, violet. apparently, like the combination of red and blue is more yeah. to do with your receptors and receiving the red and blue and seeing purple, um, rather how, than purple yeah. as a color existing. Don't know how true it is, but apparently, Something ladies like, that. like uh, blue. I mean, not blue. Uh, purple more because it's like a mixture of red and Blue for some reason. Mm. I've like just something random. I, I remember. I think this is you're all talking trash. <laughs> and purple is real because Cadbury owns it. <laughs> they do. They got, they got that paint. They actually just got a paint in red and blue. It's true. Okay. Um. So yeah, that was Jedi Fallen Order. Yeah. Uh, looking. I, I'm really interested in that next Star Wars movie. Oh, it's getting close now. It's getting close. Oh, yeah, we we got we got tickets. I have no expectations. Oh, I haven't. At all. I haven't even watched trailers. I know nothing because I completely forgot that there's yeah. a new movie. Yeah, it's gonna be. I'm just something. Mandalorian, Mandalorian, Mandalorian. Yeah. The problem now is Mandalorian's. Yeah, probably. I mean, gonna... I, I can think about more than one thing. <laughs> Mandalorian. I, I can talk, think about Watchmen. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> they've literally they've actually improved the original comic. Oh really? All right, I, I, I would make that argument after the last episode. Okay. I think they actually made. They added context to the original comic that makes it better. Really? Okay, I'll watch it tomorrow. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. Watchmen is very, very good. Yeah. Uh, also, this is the only season they have planned at all. Oh, okay. So it's going to be a thing that they do and then wrap it up. It, it may. It, like I, I think from Lindelof's comments, it's not necessarily like they wouldn't do another series, but they have no plans for any other series. This is just a one and gun as far as they've written it. Good. Yeah. Mm. So, things that are left. Sydney Hunter and the Curse of the Man. Okay. 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 That's a game I played. <laughs> it's fine. Um, actually, it, it, it's 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 solid. It's just a it's just a um, you know, adventuring puzzle game. You're going through Mayan temples. Mm. Um, That's cool. But it's just so, like, it doesn't have like a Spelunky or a La Mulana oh, sort of edge okay. to it, uh, which is fine. Like, I don't need everything to be overly complex. Like those games can get totally a bit different. But it's also just. It just seems a little bit basic. But as far as like if you want like an old school um, platformer game, it's very solid. Mm. I don't have no complaints about but it. But we have a lot of them. Oh, it's, oh no, this boss I'm on. Fuck it. No, nah, fuck this yeah. game. <laughs> like the third boss. Frustrating. Um, okay. Uh, but the game that I've actually been playing a bit of uh, and I was very excited for it. I, was, I wanted Sam here because I thought we could both geek out about it. Yeah. And then James played it and he doesn't like it as much. <laughs> so we can't, I can't overpower. I yeah. could still overpower Next him. I am bigger. Oh, yes, but well, the problem is like my uh, my my complaints of this particular game are like nothing about the game itself. This game is called Black yeah. Future eighty eight, and it begins with the greatest intro I've seen yeah. in a long time. I remember hearing about that. The bombs dropped it. in nineteen eighty eight. We it's like we stopped. <laughs> we stop. We stopped telling time. It's been nineteen eighty eight ever since. <laughs> cool. It's yeah. 
very well done. It's, it's very stylish. Very well done. Um, very and stylish. also, the, the the only time anyone counts anymore is the time, the seconds left to live. Yeah. Cool. So you, you start the game. It's So it, it's a roguelike action platformer. Mm. Um, it has a few differentiating factors that I think make it special. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I, I think it is actually a very special one of these. Uh, and I'll be interested to see how it goes because a lot of people have dismissed it because of its retro nature, mm. which I think is unfair because mm. I think it is quite unique in its retro nature. So you start, I believe it's 15 minutes you start with. Yeah. So 15 minutes until you're dead. So instantly you've got a roguelike that has a 15 minute mm-hmm. um, uh, time limit on yep. it. Okay, that's a good start. Now, in that 15 minutes, uh, you might say go into a portal and find a power that you want. Mm. Those powers cost time to purchase. So your time is even shorter. Yep. Some of those powers you get might be you get time when you shoot an enemy. So suddenly you're always moving against this clock. You can't dawdle in this game because yep. you keep losing time yep. and you'll die. Yep. Uh, it is a it's like a twin stick shooter where you shoot, except you don't need to aim. You can, but you cool. don't need to. Cool. It will auto aim at whatever enemy is in the general direction you're mm, pointing at. Which I've really liked that. It's, it, so it means it's about movement, it's mm. about dodging, mm. uh, and it's about using your weapons effectively. And you, you've got kind of that um, uh, into the gungeon kind of style dash. Yes, yes, you got yeah. you got a dash to it. Um, and that dash can get properties that can let you do things like hurt enemies while doing yeah. it. Then you get, so you get powers and you get your weapons that you pick up. You can hold two weapons at once, so it's good to vary the sort of mm. thing you've got. I tend to play a character that has a sword and a gun and then move off from that. But then some powers synergize with the weapons. So say you can get a rail gun mm. that swaps your position with the enemy. Cool. So you shoot someone in the head and then you're also on the other side of the map where they were standing. Yep. Uh, Sounds great in theory, can really fuck you up if you're not paying attention. Uh, and it's kind of wild like that. And it keeps layering these things on top. Hey. So say you're going through an area and uh, an NPC might notice you and then suddenly you have a sidebar thing where an NPC is tracking you down and they will eventually get to you mm. and you will just have a organic fight in the middle of a level with an NPC that's tracked you down. Uh, the boss fights... Uh, you get through that. Basically, you're opening up more of the level. You're getting XP. Whenever you die, that stuff all piles back in and unlocks more things that you can access. So it's standard sort of progression there for a roguelike. Um, you know, your dead celly style stuff and everything like that. Here's a big twist. When you die, you don't have to die. When you die, you can say, I'm going to fight on. And what that does is it does start you from the beginning of the game again. It re-rolls the world. But it re-rolls the world to be just that little bit harder. But you get to keep your build. Okay. So f- as far as roguelikes go, one of the worst things is I've got an awesome build. Yep, I'm really done. enjoying this, <laughs> but I'm dead. I fucked up something or like just something rolled. The RNG didn't come out my way. Yep. Damn it. But if you're enjoying that, you can keep playing it, but the game is now harder because of it. <laughs> so I like that. I didn't realize the game got harder. When you did that? Yeah. Because <laughs> I, 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 I hit that, oh, I'll just keep going button a few times. <laughs> <laughs> My runs keep getting very short. Yeah, like, man, this game's really hard. <laughs> I like the sound of that a lot. It, it's, it's a differentiating factor in it. Mm. Um, because, I mean, at its base, we have had a lot of these now. So mm. you need to have something that sets yes. you apart. Uh, and this is quite a different game. It means that, like... I love Binding of Isaac, but me playing a Binding of Isaac game now might be an hour and a half to two hour long experience. So I got to be in the mindset for that. Yep. When I started, it was a five minute experience. Yes. And now I was like, oh, oh God, now I've got to go down to hell and do all this. Stuff. Yep. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, but this is like, even though you can extend the time and you get stuff to do that, uh, it is just, it, it's about speed. It's about mm-hmm. finding builds, experimenting. Um, you know, the more you explore, the more you can get, but you're losing time. You always know where the boss exit is. There's a little arrow pointing towards it, which mm. means you can move against it if you want. That's great, yeah. Um, as I say, you get all those natural things like th- like um, enemies ca- chasing you between uh, mm-hmm. zones. Uh, you get like portals that open up that have, uh, there might be a, a challenge inside or just other abilities to get. A lot of abilities have detriments as well, so you might have to take a floor yep. as well as get it. Um, oh, it's got a kick-ass fucking soundtrack. I mm, really like the sound soundtrack. Really good. Like good synth wave, but like, a really driving uh, synthwave. Well, that explains um, Sam's music choices yeah. for the past couple of weeks. He's been into it, has he? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, I think it's a really cool game. I've been playing it on Switch. Yep. Um, it also has a bunch of quality of life things. So it has an assist mode, mm. which, because this is, I was playing review code and they said, oh, try it out. Um, but I didn't really need to. I felt it was kind of balanced at mm. the beginning. It was fun from the beginning because I, I remember when I was talking about Rad. Rad is boring at the beginning. So yes. you turn those okay. on things to skip the boring part. Yep. This just starts the action straight away and I yep. feel pretty confident from yep. the beginning. Um, uh, but also, so there's that. But you can also turn the juice up and down. 
So the screen shake and uh, Ooh, whatever. Yep. So I turned it up to full. I'm like, oh, this will be rad. Oh, it is not rad. It is far too much. <laughs> they set it pretty much at the right level. Yep. And if you don't like juice, turn it down. Yeah, I, I turned mine off. Yeah, I think it was too much for James. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But then also, um, and th- this is like good, but the implementation is not great. You can also scale the UI. Yep. So especially if you're playing handheld, it That's might be good. a little bit small yeah. for your eyes. But also the UI does start getting in the way of the action. Yep. Yeah, I, I had some so. problems playing it where like there'd be a dialogue box that'll pop up and the character go behind it. Uh, and I was like, yeah. yeah, could you just like shift the camera yes. down just a touch yep. or like just do something mm, to like evolve out? Yeah. 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 But uh, generally pretty cool. I think the the overall UI is probably the worst part of it mm. when you're like comparing weapons and stuff yep. like that. could be a bit clearer. Mm. But as far as the actual action goes, I think it's incredibly solid and fun little roguelike. Mm. Um, so that is Black Future 88. It's Whereas available like, on the Switch I, and the PC. I yeah. like the sound of that. Whereas like, I, I really wasn't happy with the performance of it. Uh, yeah, you're saying that. I yeah, didn't have and any I, I've now tried the game uh, five or six times. Yeah, and every time I get to the boss, like the Prophet Five, I do get noticeable frame drops. It probably gets down to about fifteen. I'd say I get definite jitters uh, when things die. I thought that was a uh, like, like a, a style a, choice, a style like thing. A, you drop yeah, a frame when you yeah, because that's a Vambly kind of thing. Like, but when I turned all the like the juice down, it was still like, doing no, it. like I still and it really throws me off. Like mm. I'm used to like because the game's so fast. If suddenly, like, you know, like, it just, like, drops for, like, a third of a second, it's like, oh, what's... Like, it's enough to kind of just kind of throw me because it is such a fast-paced game. Mm. Yeah. So, mm. performance-wise, I've been too happy with it. But it's just funny that you haven't noticed that. Yeah, I, I have not noticed. As far as my experience has been incredibly smooth with yeah. the game. Because I, I know, like, with um uh, Dead Cells, uh-huh. like that, I'd, I'd have frame drops as well. Like, I'd notice, like, there'd be points... On the which, Switch. On the Switch, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'd notice it kind of slowed down, but it never really got in the way. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, that only gets crazy near the end, mm. and I'm not good enough to get near the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love yeah. that game. Dead Just Cells. not very good at it. Yeah, Dead, Dead Cells is a fantastic mm. game. And this is not quite that level, but yep. pretty good. It's getting pretty there. Good. It is, yeah. yeah, I, just, yeah. I agree it's getting there. Mm. Yeah, and yeah, a lot of cool things about it. Um, we're sort of over the two-hour mark. We've got a couple of things that you mentioned. I don't know what that is. Oh, we don't have to talk about that. Uh, we no. might just skip the other stuff. We can talk about that later when it actually comes out. Um, we might call that a, t- a day. Yeah. Okay, thank you for watching or listening to 8.5bit. You can catch us on the website, 8.5bit.com, on Twitter, Facebook. You can join our Discord, discord.8.5bit.com. If you want to hang out, subscribe to us, all that jazz. Do whatever the hell you want, um, within reason. Like it's not, yeah, like don't We're break the, the law. It's not kind of, well, some laws are meant to be broken. Yeah, yeah, like don't do some things. Mm-hmm. Don't stab. Can I? Can I murder though? Well, no, that's. Can I maim? Like, none of these things are legal. But you said the rules are there to be broken. I said that, not him. Yeah. And also, don't, let's, don't let that Paul be your moral compass. Jesus <laughs> Christ, what are you doing? <laughs> that's where I've gone wrong in my life. <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> I've got my problems, but I've got a good heart. <laughs> your Honor, I've got a good heart. I keep it in this box. <laughs> I have been your you may Paul. recognize it. It is your wife's. <laughs> oh, let's look at seven on this. <laughs> okay, I've been your host, Paul. I've been James. Hi. So I'm if you Amy. start with bye and you end with this, hi, this is your thing. Is that your thing? You might need to workshop this one, Amy. <laughs> I, I, you said try a new outro, and I did. I think it's true. I think maybe yeah, I'll turn your mic down a little bit and just try it louder. Go. What? Just your outro. Just yell it. Hi. That wasn't that loud. I'm not as excited anymore. Okay, you can go back up. Thank you. Now I'm... Hi! (laughs) (laughs) You're a son of a bitch. (laughs) Let's murder Paul. (laughs) Oh, I just like the attention. Thank you. He does. Okay, uh, we'll catch you all later, folks. Uh, End of the year is probably going to be a little bit... Like, this episode is a bit delayed, as you may have noticed, uh, partly because I was sick last week. Uh, How dare you be sick? It'll come... Yeah, well, I was actually fine to record, but we decided not to make everyone else sick. Yeah. uh, Because I would have been contagious. How dare you Um, be contagious? (sighs) I am. I am a son of a bitch. All these days. Uh, So, yeah, end of the year, it'll be very... We'll get into probably... We might do end of the year and end of the decade stuff. Yeah, we'll Uh, do our goatees and... Scoties? Scoties. I don't know what the S is. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I just Dec- you started Cody. doing an S sound. Dodies, like, and, do- uh, and Dodies and Goaties. Do- Dodies. A decade of the. No, oh wait, no, it's not century. Oh, yeah. Duh. Oh, yeah. Go- God, God, Gotteds. Gotteds. We'll, we'll get there. We'll figure out a name. We'll figure out a good name. I don't want Game of the Decade. Uh, I just I want, want Decade in Review. I don't want Scroties now. Just work out what a Scroties is. Yeah, figure out what Scroties. 
<laughs> scrotums of the year. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. My top scrotums. <laughs> I'm, I'm out. <laughs> Scomo. Uh. <laughs> uh, bye, y'all. See you, everyone. Bye. Who wants to click or do a monster? I, I'm not opening one at this time. Uh, no, no, it's too late now. <laughs> <laughs> you can take it with you if you want. Yeah, yeah I'm going to try that. We, right. we did click, but we were still talking, so let's do another click. Clap. Can't say clap. <laughs>